Is my CP coming true? Is it really happening? Quick! Look at today's hot search. Well, what exactly is this Shiryu SCP that dominates the hot search page? Shen Yu, an idol with an unknown family background. With just a single song, he immediately sparked an enormous fan craze and rose to the top searches. By Fangshu, a well-known actor. He comes from a powerful performing arts family. So, how did all this Shiryu SCP start? My sisters, hear me out. Xin Yu and Bai Fangshu who originally had nothing to do with each other, now have such intimate photos together circulating. Shiryuwa is real. It's not a loss to join the Shiryuwa party. It's not a loss. Or this could all just be a marketing tactic. Anti-fan. Sisters, use your brain. If this were true, when were these photos taken? As we know, these two have nothing to do with each other in the entertainment circle. If the two were so intimate, why have they been acting like strangers this whole time? Impossible. This picture is definitely real. Based on my 10 years of Photoshop experience, let me explain. If you're so experienced, why don't you go produce grain for your sisters? Shut up. All right, all right. Stop arguing. If you're so curious, how about you ask the parties involved? Fangshir, let's talk. No matter what happens today, you absolutely cannot be angry, okay? This play is a huge production where people invested a lot of money and brought a lot of people together, so of course they chose him. You understand, right? Um. Okay wait, sister Ya. Yeah. What's today's date? It's the 24th, Xing Yu is joining the group today. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm gonna take a shower. Fang Shi, you have a good appearance. You'd be better off becoming a celebrity rather than an actor. You'd be much more popular as well. The company has high hopes for you, don't let us down Fang Shi. Fang Shi, as your parents were worried about you. We don't want you to enter the entertainment industry, it's much too dangerous. Fang Shi. Brother. But all I want to do is act well. Finished? Hurry up and change your clothes. The production team is waiting on you. Ah, that Xing Yu. In fact, his personality isn't bad. I remember the time a reporter asked him about you, and he practically praised you for your incredible talent and ability to act. Oh dear. Are you alright? Ahem. Haha <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that's a compliment? Look, you two were on the hot search page again this morning. I just can't understand why people are so enthusiastic about you too. Who knew that even the company's number one agent, Sister Ya, is so gossipy? You just don't understand. Xing Yu's company even issued a lawyer's letter to a Shiryu fan. Find out who did it. But you two are an actor and idol, and in an industry where popularity is important, this Shiryu situation isn't necessarily bad for either parties. In fact, it's more of a win-win situation. Not to mention Xing Yu's company issuing a lawyer's letter seems all too deliberate. Okay then. We'll be late if we don't head to the studio soon. Hurry up. Wait. Wait for me. Make sure to remember what I said. Xing Yu will be joining the filming today, so you absolutely have to keep your composure, no matter how bad his acting is. You understand, right? How could I dare fight with him? After all, he's an ancestor. Tell me honestly, what is the relationship between you two? It's nothing. All it is is just a bit of karma in the past. You two used to know each other? By Fangshir, how can you call this nothing? So you really do have a problem, I feel sorry for all your fangirls. I don't like men. Then Xing Yu. Otherwise, how would I be able to get this far? Xing Yu and I had a very good relationship. We loved each other but... Wait, Xing Yu, I, I... I'm afraid I can't. Bai Fangshu. You are a liar. No matter how beautiful our relationship was, it was always destined to end. We tried so many times, so I thought. 
Stop with the nonsense, so you played with his feelings? No, I didn't. Won't this get picked up by the media? I don't mind you spreading scandals, but these types of stories must never get out. It's fine. It's been more than three years and Shin Yu hadn't even debuted back then. Plus, no one knew. Everything will be fine. Ah, okay then. No matter what happened to you two in the past, try to keep a little distance from him while you're on set. Okay. This time the male lead is by Fosher, and the second male lead is Shun Yu. I don't think this will turn out well. Why? Since Shung Yu has a strong backing, and despite only having filmed one music video, he has become popular enough to become the second male lead for a popular project such as this naturally, by Fonsher would feel unsatisfied with him. But the two of them are shipped so hard. Who knows, maybe they'll meet and it'll be love at first sight. How would you know? By Fonsher is a perfectionist. If Shung Yu doesn't perform perfectly, Fonsher would try to act kind and nice on the surface, but despise him on the inside. His behavior even made Li Jiao cry. Li Jiao? Fang Shi made someone as powerful as him cry? Sheng Yu must be careful. Everyone. Sheng Yu has arrived. Sheng Yu, the director asks that you to change into your costume first. Fonsher, you arrived. Ah, Director Zhao, sorry for arriving late. It's fine, it's fine. As long as you come to film the play, it's alright. There's no need to be early. Director Zhao, 45 years old. However, I've come across a problem. Thankfully, you've arrived just in time. Problem? Xing Yu, what are you doing with the heroine aside? Quit being so distracted. Come here. Fonsher will tell you about the play. Damn, it's been three years. Has he still not cooled down? Secret technique. I contact assassination. Take this. He's wearing contacts. That isn't his natural eye color. Come a little closer, babe. They're supposed to be light amber. If you look into them deeply, you'll find them particularly mesmerizing. What are you idling for, Fonsher? You need to walk him through the script. Oh right, do you two know each other? You haven't said a word since you met. I don't know him. Well, now you do. You'll see for yourself once you spend a little more time with him. Fonsher's actually a great guy. All the gossip about him being strict and having a bad temper is all just baseless rumors. All the girls on set love him. You can just ask him if you run into any problems. All the girls on set love him. Ha. Huh. Ahem, how about this? I'll walk both of you through the script and the character details. This film's name is Calming the Storms, and the film's protagonist is Shen Fang. He was determined to become a government official and serve his country from a very young age. But once he became an official, he soon realized that he was still helpless. He couldn't change the incompetent emperor, nor could he confront other officials for their disloyalty. In the end, he couldn't even secure his own position. At the whims of fate, the hapless Shen Fang ended up deeply favored and continuously promoted by the emperor. He felt extremely conflicted over this but he was unable to tear himself away from the many overlapping political interests he'd gotten entangled in. It's here that Shen Fang has a chance encounter with Sheng Yu's character, Duan Yang. The innocent Duan Yang lived an unfettered life, away from laws and limitations. He didn't have any grand ambitions either. In other words, he was Shen Fang's exact opposite, and also represented his ideal self. Soon, Shen Fang and Duan Yang developed an intimate friendship. Influenced by Duan Yang, Shen Fang decided to leave everything behind and wander the outside world. Soon, Shen Fang also grew fond of the outside world and wanted to become a part of it. And yet, Shen Fang's wife, Shang Wanning, was still waiting for him to return home. 
she was an outdated, conservative lady who lived within the feudal confines of traditional teachings. So she couldn't even begin to understand Shen Fang's feelings. But Sheng Wanning was also kind and beautiful. She was the young Shen Fang's ideal lover. Even though his ideals had faded over time, he still loved her. He couldn't cut the ties between them, no matter how far he ventured outside the kingdom or how many connections he severed. Unexpectedly, Duan Yang also started growing fond of Sheng Wanning. All of her shortcomings became attractive virtues in his eyes. She was studious and knowledgeable, soft-spoken and gentle. She was the ideal maiden. And so, Duan Yang also slowly started changing. He was once Shen Fang's closest confidant, but he soon became as distant from him as everyone else. He couldn't understand why Shen Fang wasn't satisfied when he already had everything he could ever wish for, including the world's loveliest woman. At the same time, Shen Fang suddenly realized that though he'd resigned as an official, he felt as conflicted as ever. The outside world and the kingdom weren't two separate realms after all. They were inextricably and irrevocably connected. The outside world couldn't be his ideal home. Right at this moment, the beginnings of a shocking conspiracy quietly began. In summary, the both of you are rivals, but also close friends. That's all there is to it. Did you get that, Xing Yu? Close friend and imaginary enemy. Just try to imagine the person you like as the female lead. Simple, isn't it? I don't have anyone I like. So I can't imagine it. Was he? Looking at me just now. It doesn't have to be a person. Just try to imagine Li Jiao as something you're fond of then. That's right. It doesn't have to be a person. Got it? Xing Yu, let's try this again. Scene 1, Take 5. Action. Jeez, how can Sheng Yu stay so calm in front of a beauty like Li Jiao? See? I told you he's gay. That's solid evidence right there. You're just jealous of Sheng Yu. Anything goes if you look good enough. Sheng Yu is just demonstrating how a true gentleman behaves in front of a lady. Cut. We're getting there. Let's try again from the top. A few moments later. Scene 1, take 28. We're already on the 28th take of a pretty easy scene. Man, the upcoming scenes are even more challenging too. How are we going to keep this up? This is definitely going to affect our progress. That's not important. What matters is... Oh, actually, I think you're doing great. You just need to relax a little more. This is pretty common for new actors. Try not to get too overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, is he possessed? That's not the by Foncher I know. He once criticized me for letting my gaze wander during a scene. He made me do so many retakes too. And I was just playing a maid. Who the hell would notice if a maid's gaze wandered a little? Just look at his massive double standards for Sheng Yu. I can't get enough of it. We just witnessed true love, girls. True love. Ugh, whatever. Let's move on. We'll come back to this scene another day. Foncher, go get your hair and makeup done. We're going to have you three shoot a scene together. All right. Duan Yang happens to walk in on Shen Fang and Sheng Wanning having a fight. Duan Yang notices that Sheng Wanning has been crying. His heart aches for her, and for the first time he feels a rush of animosity toward Shen Fang. Action. Cut. Sheng Yu. Can you not tell the difference between Shen Fang and Shang Wanning? You're supposed to be protective and affectionate towards Shang Wanning. Shen Fang is the one you should hate, not the other way around. Why do you hate Li Jiao so much anyway? Is she your rival or something? That brat. Ah, will I get a cease and desist from Sheng Yu's studio if I upload this recording on the Super Topic Forum? You'll be fine. They just send out those letters to intimidate people. Just post it. I'll share it with everyone I know. Um, excuse me, are you all shipping Shiriwei? Am I the only Yuesher shipper here? 
Contact lenses removed after work. Hey, kid. Shang Yu. Should we follow each other on Weibo? Shang Yu is six years younger than Li Jiao. She technically isn't wrong to call him that. But I'm pretty sure Shang Yu hates being called kid. Don't call me kid. Call me Shang Yu. Fang Shur. Shang Yu and I are mutual now. Why don't you two follow each other too? That's alright. I'm not really on Weibo all that much. My assistant just uploads my advertisements there. I'll just answer for him since he's definitely going to turn me down. I've followed you. Don't read too much into it. I've also followed everyone on the production team. Alright, well, I gotta run. You two have a nice chat. I've followed you back. Oh right, are you hungry? We're done for today, so you should go get something to eat. Ahem. I know you've had to lower your standards for a shabby production like ours. I know a restaurant. Alright. Excuse me. I said, take me there. I was just going to send him the address so he could go on his own. When did this turn into a dinner for two? Alright, then. Come with me. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and repair our relationship, I guess. It'd certainly beat him glaring at me all the time. Besides, I'm sure we can at least be on friendly terms. Since we'll be working together from now on, things shouldn't be awkward between us. A secret, late night sure you date. This is definitely going to go viral. I need to thank Shuriwai for helping me achieve my Kai this year. They really do look like a match made in heaven. Does he not that realize there are a bunch of paparazzi behind us? Whatever. It's no big deal. The restaurant's right up ahead. Okay. I thought you didn't really like acting, why take a movie job all of a sudden? I just felt like acting. What, did you think I took up the offer because of you? No, that's not what I meant. Alright then. Acting is pretty interesting. This brat's a terrible conversation partner. He's just going to dismiss anything I bring up. Already done. By the way, where are you staying tonight? Xing Yu Hotel. Oh, that hotel's got quality service. I'm also staying. Didn't you just call your assistant to pick you up? Bring me along. Um, fine. I've paid for his meal and given him a ride. Yet he keeps shooting me those dirty looks, that's Xing Yu for you, alright? And I still can't bring myself to get mad at him, Sai. I've always spoiled him way too much. He hasn't changed a single bit. Three years ago. Why'd you change the shower gel? I don't like how this brand smells. I'm exhausted today. We can talk about this later. By Fang Shi. Enough already. This brat is taking advantage of his age. He's always so thoughtless and clingy. I can't even get mad at him because he can't handle it, though. All right. Three hours later. Did I fall asleep? It's already 3 a.m. Why hasn't Xingyu returned? Why didn't you come inside? You think I'm annoying, don't you? Have you had enough of me? Did I fall asleep? I've been sleeping on Xing Yu's shoulder. No reaction. What on earth is he looking at? He seems pretty engrossed. I'm an astronomer. Welcome, fellow astronomy enthusiasts, to our cozy little astronomy circle. Feel free to talk about whatever you want. Just remember the only rule, the lunar eclipse can't be defied. Where are your manners? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I treated you to a meal and gave you a ride. But you want to lecture me about manners? The high and mighty Xing Yu picked up an interest in astronomy over the years, huh? Speaking of which, that astronomy page looked pretty trendy. Are they really doing promotions for the lunar eclipse these days? I feel like I've been living under a rock. Can't keep up with the latest trends. He didn't see that, 
Did he? Whatever. Even if he did see it, that jerk probably wouldn't understand anyway. Hey, do you want to play a mobile game with me? Trying to break the ice. I'm so pissed off right now, but I have to keep smiling. Well, this is my room. What about yours? Mr. Sheng. I've got a hotel key card delivery for you. Sheng Yu's assistant, 22 years old. Here it is. Oh, so your room's just across from mine. What a coincidence. Yeah, a real surprise. Ha, huh, but you asked me to put in a special booking for this room. All right. Well, good night. It's probably just a coincidence. Miss, yeah? Did something happen? All right, miss, yeah, I understand. I'll do it. Don't tell me you don't know how to put on a tie. You're a pain, you know that? You're only allowed to do my ties for the rest of your life. Who's going to tie mine then? Leave it to me. Don't you dare laugh at me. What a nostalgic dream. I'm coming. What's this bread up to this time? What's the meaning of this? By Fangshir and Li Jiao getting lovey-dovey. By Fangshir flirts with a female game streamer. By Fangshir is a playboy. Ah, uh, I see, miss. You sure is efficient. Last night. Don't hello me. Why didn't you answer my calls? Do you know how many fans the Shuriwa Super Topic Forum has gained in the last few days? Everyone's trying to dig up your history with Xingyu. Didn't I tell you to keep your distance from him? Fonsher, you really need to stop making me worry so much. Well, since you really do have history with Xingyu, we can't let things keep going like this. I'm just letting you know that the company has decided to do some damage control. Damage control? How? It's simple. Just do as I say. It seems this is Miss Ya's idea of damage control. What a clever move. First, Miss Ya uploads a video of me gazing affectionately at Li Jiao to stir up some drama. This video was taken from the perfect angle. I don't even remember when this was recorded. Bai Fangshi and Li Jiao are interacting all the time on Weibo. Bai Fangshi did say that his ideal girlfriend is beautiful, thoughtful, and independent. Isn't that basically Li Jiao, a mature beauty? Netizens are natural-born gossips. Soon they'll dig up concrete evidence of an intimate relationship between Li Jiao and me. With just a little imagination, my relationship with Li Jiao will feel even more genuine than my relationship with Shenyu. Yu. Marketing account. He he. Bai Fancher is well known in the industry for liking conventional beauties. This little scandal between him and Li Jiao was just an internal collaboration project within the company for his image. Miss, Ye even used a secret move. She got a famous marketing account to spread the news. This account is widely known for being rabid, but he does have a lot of reliable sources, so a lot of people are likely to believe him. The marketing account leaks screenshots of my conversation history with a popular streamer. The screenshots are clearly fake, but they're more than enough to stir up controversy. I never expected you to be a pro player in this game. Don't underestimate female gamers. Let's play something different next time. I'll ride. What do you mean? I don't get it. You. Oh you. Are you free this Friday? Let's have some fun. What kind of fun are we talking about? Oh, you know. I really don't, though. Just come for a good time. You'll see. It's true love between Bai Fangshi and Li Jiao. No way. Bai Fangshi's a playboy behind closed doors. He's absolute scum. It doesn't matter which story people choose to believe or if they believe either story at all. As long as I'm irreversibly branded as a straight dude online. Bai Fangshi. What do you mean by clever move? Well, should I explain the situation to him? Am I out of touch now, or has Xingyu evolved? I have no idea what he meant by that. The next scene is an emotional touchstone of the film. I need to be well prepared. Which server do you play on? What game are you talking about? 
The one you were playing in the car the other night. Oh, I'm in server V, I was just making an offhand remark. I didn't expect him to actually take it seriously. What's your ID? Let's add each other. You're really into astronomy, aren't you? First, it was the Lunar Eclipse promotional main page, now his in-game ID. I never expected you to be into this kind of thing. There are many things you don't know about me. Do you usually play alone? Yeah. Really? You don't have anyone to play with? Who'd play with me? A female streamer, of course. Ah, uh, I fell for it. How good are you at the game? Can you carry me? My manager wants me to be this game spokesperson for a while. They're asking me to practice a little in my spare time. I'm alright at the game. Carrying you shouldn't be a problem. So that's why he asked. Whatever, I'll grind with him then. Not a big deal. Foncher, get to your place. Right away, director. I can't assure you when I'll be back. I'll await your return no matter how long it takes. Cut. Something's still missing. We need more emotion, more sorrow. One hug isn't going to cut it. We need to add a kiss. The kiss doesn't need to be intense. What we need here is feeling. Feel free to kiss however you want as long as you can bring out the scene's emotions. Are you okay with this, Li Jiao? What about you, Foncher? I don't mind. No way. My goodness, what on earth is happening right now? Is Xinyu getting territorial over by Fangshir? I feel like I can sense immense jealousy from him. Wake me up from this dream. I just witnessed it with my own eyes. The Shiryua ship is real. Do you have something to say, Xinyu? Sorry, Director Zhao. Can you give us five minutes? Come with me. It's time for us to have a talk. What's your problem? I can't get mad at him. Knowing Xing Yu's temper, this might become a huge issue. Can you please give me a break? No matter how annoyed you might be at me, you can come after me when we're done filming. Do you think I'm being unreasonable? You said. What, because I ruined your chance at a kissing scene with Li Jiao? Do you want to kiss her so badly? I get it. She's a knockout, after all. A real femme fatale. Any straight man would go crazy for her. She fits all your requirements perfectly too. Thoughtful? Independent? Who exactly were you hinting at, I wonder? You even went out of your way to diss me when you found a new partner. I must have really traumatized you horribly during those few months, huh? Wait, that look on his face. Say something. I know Xing Yu very well, he's always been an extremely awkward and blunt guy. Keep your eyes on me. By awkward, I mean he always kicks up a fuss when it comes to people he actually cares about, and he's never really been the type for superficial pleasantries. If Xing Yu doesn't like someone, he won't spare them a single glance. If he really hates the person, he'll want them as far from him as possible. He wouldn't have agreed to star in Calming the Storms if he was still angry at me for what happened three years ago, and if he really hated me, he wouldn't have followed me on Weibo or asked me to play mobile games with him, why did it take so long for me to realize, it really seems like he still has feelings for me. He's being really quiet. Is he admitting it? Did I really traumatize you? Am I that awful? By Fangshir, do you know how popular I am? I really must be blind to stay here and keep getting bullied by you. Sheng Yu, do you really care about me that much? I mean, I was just. That was then, I'm over it now. I'll head back to set. The team is waiting for me. We'll talk about this later. Alright, I get it. No kissing. Why did he suddenly change his mind? I have to focus on the shoot now. I'll talk it out with him later. Foncher, we're already on the eighth take of this scene. What's the matter? Focus on the shoot. 
Fancher, you're out of sorts today. Xing Yu, can you drop that poker face of yours? Just get some rest, Xing Yu. Focus on the shoot. Mission impossible. Sai. This film is doomed. Forget it. We'll leave it here for now. Let's wrap up for today. Let's go. We'll talk when we get back. It's too crowded here. No, what do you want to say? Spit it out. He gave me this exact look three years ago too. Sheng Yu and I had just met, I had all sorts of feelings for him, even as a straight man. I have no idea how he managed to catch me off guard like that. I was determined to keep it cool for a couple of days. But Sheng Yu, he was just way too sweet for me to handle. I couldn't resist temptation. I let myself slowly get closer and closer, I was a little reluctant to get intimate with him at first, but my reluctance was very quickly drowned out by his passion. We stayed this way until. Let's try it just this once. Just one time, okay? It still feels terrible to remember that night. Am I that awful? It's been three years. Does he really still care about me? You're just going to tell me to stop causing trouble for you, aren't you? No, it's not that. I actually wanted to ask you about something else. What? It's nothing, really. I don't know if I'm imagining things, but I somehow feel like, you still miss me, don't you, kid? Maybe I really was just imagining it. So what if I do? Wah. I said, so what if I do? In that case, let's. Should we stop being friends? Should we just stop interacting altogether? By Fangshir, there's no need to be so guarded. Don't worry. What makes you think I'd still be pining for you after three whole years? Sorry, but I don't care about you anymore. Not one bit. He sure acted fast. Notification. Astronomer has unfriended you. Confirm. Following. You've been removed from the group. Everyone's probably going crazy online now that Xing Yu's done this. Come here, Fangshir. Sorry, but I don't care about you anymore. Not one bit. Wait a minute, I remember that Xing Yu. Lunar Eclipse Ship Promotional. Pinned after conquering the mountains and the oceans, can we go back in time? I'd rather not. This isn't a page about astronomy at all. It's a page about shipping. Nope. The page is indeed about astronomy. Fandom Fun Facts 1. Astronomy Circle Another name for the Tashuriwa fandom using lunar, U, and eclipse, sure. 2. Astronomy Enthusiasts Referring to the Tashuriwa shippers. 3. Astronomers a nickname for diligent fans who are avid scholars of the Shuriwa ship. Xing Yu follows this page in private. He even set his game ID as astronomer, what on earth is going on in that head of his? Morning, Tony. Jeez, what on earth happened to you Fangshir? Makeup artist, Tony, 25 years old. You look terrible. Did you stay up the whole night? You and Xing Yu are neck and neck. Look at him. What were you two up to last night? He's so scary. Let's go, Fangshir. I'll apply a thicker layer of foundation for you. In the next scene, the relationship between Shen Fang and Duan Yang reaches a breaking point. This is an absolutely critical scene for the rest of the movie, so listen carefully. Shen Fang, after severing ties with his position as an official, was now living his ideal life. After they parted ways, Duan Yang became the sort of person Shen Fang despised the most a military lackey in the imperial court. A far cry from his days as a wandering martial artist. I've become you, and you've become me. The two drift apart due to their misguided fates. Both of you need to give it your all, got it? The bond between Duan Yang and Shen Fang is complex and somewhat unique. They are more than just friends, rivals, or mere enemies. They're very special to each other. All right, director. What's so special about their relationship? 
Are they having a fling or something? You can think of it this way. Both Duan Yang and Shen Fang are straight men. They don't feel intimate attracted to other men. But no intimate attraction doesn't mean no emotional connection. They might not like each other that way, but their affection is still undeniable. Do you get what I mean? I guess so. Xing Yu, do you have a cold? Looks like I really pissed him off last night. Guess I'm getting the silent treatment for a while. I might accidentally make our relationship look too romantic if I comfort him now though. That'll just make things more complicated. But if I just ignore him? Well, I just can't find it in my heart to do. He's really just like a spoiled cat. Clingy, bad-tempered, and likes to cause a scene, yet when he's hurt, he pretends he doesn't care at all and hides somewhere far away. You can't help but feel a little sorry for him. I really wish I could just take him into my arms and give him a good pat. If only Sheng Yu were a girl. I'd spoil such an adorable and beautiful girlfriend absolutely rotten. Folks, we're all set. Focus, Foncher. We're going to have you do a wired flying scene. Roger that. Here's how it'll go. The two of you will get into a fight, and then Ching Yu will fall into the water. He'll emerge again after a few seconds and attack Foncher from behind. The lake is probably really cold. Will he be alright? Action. Shen Fang, let's settle this today, once and for all. How did things come to this, Duan? Eh? Why does it feel like he's doing much better than I expected? I can't look back now. If we have to do a retake, Xing Yu will have to go through all that suffering again. If it all goes according to the plan, the steel wires will pull him up as soon as his head emerges from the water. As long as he doesn't make a weird face when he surfaces, the scene will be considered complete. We can retake the other scenes afterward. What's going on? It's already been a few seconds. Why hasn't Xing Yu come up yet? Director, save him. Quick, into the lake. Save Xing Yu. Doesn't he know how to swim? Where did we go wrong? Xing Yu, wake up. What should we? Excuse me. I can't hear his heartbeat at all. Xing Yu. Xing Yu. Who's there? These hands are so warm, is that him? Am I dreaming? Wa, what are you doing? Massive mortification. Xing Yu, why don't we do a retake of you coming out of the water, since you're all soaked anyway? Director Zhao. Xing Yu has a fever. He can't continue with today's shoot. All right. What on earth is going on? It really feels like there's something between these two. Director Zhao, Xing Yu's assistant is here. Fancher will be continuing the shoot while Xing Yu rests at the hotel. Pull yourself together, folks. Let's get back to work. By the way, no one is allowed to spread any rumors online about what just happened. Delete any footage and photos you took. What's going on? Director Zhao made it sound like Sheng Yu and I are already in a relationship. Mr. Yu's high fever hasn't broken, but he refuses to take any medication. He's also been mumbling and asking for you in his delirium. Here's the access card to his room. You'll be able to convince him better than me. Sigh, Sheng Yu has always been a dramatic brat. When he's sick, he acts like the whole world revolves around him. Not to mention he refuses to take any medication even if he isn't feeling well. Xing Yu, are you asleep? Did Xing Yu really ask for me? Or was he just talking in his sleep? His temperature doesn't feel too high. His assistant must have been exaggerating. Why can't I open it? Why are you here? I'm just here to check up on you. Careful now, here, take these pills. Your assistant told me you refused to take them again. What's wrong with you? Are you intentionally trying to get out of work? Aren't you homophobic? It must have taken a lot for you to come here and visit me. I'm not homophobic, and there's no way I'd just leave you alone. Can you please stop picking on me? 
This brat's always so blunt and sarcastic. The only reason he's survived this long is because of his good looks. It's impossible to have a proper conversation with him. Just take the pills. I have something to tell you after you've taken them. What is it? Take the pills first. What is it? Take your medicine. After you tell me. Take the pills and I'll tell you. Speaking of which, he caught a cold back when we were still together too. This is essentially a repeat of what went down back then. Three years ago. Come on, be good now. Take the cold medicine. If I take the medicine, I'll recover in seven days. If I don't, I'll recover in a week. Don't get mad. You'll only make yourself sick with all that anger. I'm not taking the medicine. That's final. He's getting angry. That means he's worried about me. It's no use glaring at me. I've made it clear that I won't take the medicine. You forced my hand. What do you want? I like this method. All right, since you've taken your medicine. We're not done yet. But you've already taken your pills. I know, but I haven't had my main course yet. I used to be able to interact with him without thinking about the consequences. Now I need to be more careful. The best way to deal with our entanglements is to maintain a safe distance from him and keep quiet. If he doesn't want to take his medicine, why do I need to force him? He's been doing just fine without me these past three years. Xing Yu, do you feel sick again? What's it to you? It's been three years. Yet neither of us has changed. I'm still a straight man, and I still care about him a lot. Perhaps we could try to keep our relationship platonic? What am I thinking? It's not like we're going to practice abstinence for the rest of our lives. This is weird no matter how you look at it. You've zoned out again. Do I bore you so much that you zone out every time you're with me? It's not that I'm just trying to figure out a way to make you take your pills. Did you figure out it then? There we go. You better get well soon. If you sit out tomorrow's shoot, the film's progress will be delayed even further. Director Zhao's going to get angry, you know. Killjoy. What are you talking about? Drink some water. I've taken the medicine, like you asked. Speak. I didn't really mean what I said. I was just trying to convince him to take his medicine. Looks like he took it seriously, though. Can you spit it out already? Is it that hard to say? Ideas are like a sponge soaked in water. I can always squeeze something out if I try hard enough. By Fengshir's famous line. Oh right. Remember the dog we used to keep? Do you still have him? Huh. We had a poodle three years ago. Sheng Yu decided to take the dog with him after we broke up. I haven't heard anything about Sheng Yu and that dog since. He probably put it up for adoption. The dog we used to keep. Of course, I still have him, and he's doing just fine. What? Did you think I'd abandon him just because we split up? No, I was just curious. I don't even remember what he looks like anymore. Could I see him again? I didn't think he'd still keep the dog. No, he belongs to me now. He has nothing to do with you anymore. Why does it feel like we're a divorced couple fighting over custody of our child? He's my child. He should live with me. No way. He likes me more. Shen Yu is a terrible conversation partner, as always. All right. I'll head out then. Rest well and stay hydrated. I'm going back to my room. It's already this late. All right, I'll stay hydrated. Wait. I have something to ask you. What is it? Over the past few days, have I caused you any trouble by starring in this film with you? Today, my manager told me that your company cooked up the gossip about you and Li Jiao, to force the Shiryue rumors to die down so you wouldn't have to get involved with me. Is this true? Ugh, he could have just kept quiet. Why does he have to lay it all out so clearly? Everything's awkward now. That's about right. 
My manager knows about our history. She's just that worried someone will dig up the dirt on me. And that it'd affect. But I guess Xing Yu isn't the kind of person to beat around the bush. The dirt? Oops, force of habit. Don't take it the wrong way. Damn. He's going to blow up again. Are you saying there was nothing remarkable about our relationship at all? It was all just dirt to you. No, it's not like lie down and listen to me. Look, our relationship made me very happy, but it also gave me many regrets. What is that supposed to mean? Is it because I'm not a woman? I hate that I can't be with you forever. For real? Yeah. Then. You want to be with me, forever? If I could, yes. Why not? I know what you're thinking. You're worried that I can't make you BAM. Do you really only think about BAM all day? Are you really that superficial? Can you please not put it like that? Isn't that what's going on, though? Be honest. If I were a woman, would we have broken up three years ago? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm done. I really just fell into his trap. All right, I'm going to announce my decision now. So what you're saying is, if I can make you happy, we can be together forever. Make you happy, make you happy, make you. Hold on. Didn't you say that you don't like me anymore? How dare the peasant question what I said. Come here for a second. Why? Just do as I say. I won't bite, all right? Don't get out of bed. You're still sick. I'll eat you up. What are you? Resistance is futile. Relax. Like that. Fong Fong. I'm going to take a shower. Just what am I going to do with him? I'll wait until Xing Yu comes back, and then... Xing Yu. We've made up now, right? Ha! Huh. Why can't this brat just play by the rules for once? You said it yourself. If I can satisfy you, you'll be together with me forever. Sigh, forget it, I admit defeat. I won another round, Fong Fong. Him calling me that is a one-hit KO. What are you looking at? You seem happy. People are still obsessed with the fact that we unfollowed each other on Weibo. Some of them are even writing lengthy essays speculating why. That sounds so annoying. Just leave them be. No way, I'm going to have some fun with them. Listen up, world. I've got something to say. Hey. Check out what Shin Yu just posted on Weibo. Eight wins in a row tonight. Eight wins in a row. I'm awesome, all right. It would have been ten wins if you hadn't suddenly disconnected. Look. Xin Yu's game ID is astronomer, while Bai Fangshu is geologist. Do my eyes deceive me, or are they using matching IDs? Looks like Xin Yu's pretty new to the game. It's almost like Bai Fangshu's carrying his girlfriend here. He he he. Wakey wakey, lunar eclipse fans, our time has come. Wait a minute, is this the same astronomer we're thinking of? I don't care. Lunar eclipse is real. It's official now. Can all of you stop with your head cannons? This is all nonsense. This is just an ad. Xing Yu's the spokesperson of the game now, so he's just doing some warm-up marketing. Sai, kids these days. Why do you look so terrible? Are you not happy being with me? I didn't sleep well last night. Why? My manager was blowing up my phone all night because of your Weibo post. So you're blaming me? Do all my Weibo posts need to be approved by her now? 
Besides, we aren't even married yet. How dare she gets involved into my business? Do you have any idea what you're saying? You were the one who insisted on changing my game ID that was way too obvious, she still has her reservations about the whole thing. Anyway, don't your staff have anything to say about all this? What do you mean? I'm the boss. If they don't agree, they can just keep it to themselves. What if your manager doesn't approve of our relationship, what then? It's not like she's my mom. Oh? Then what if your mom also objects to our relationship? What kind of question is this? You might as well just ask me who I'd save first if both of you were drowning. We only just got back together last night, we haven't really settled down yet, and I already have to face such a scary question. This brat can be such a headache. My mom doesn't meddle in my business. Stop worrying about these things, alright? We're doing a really challenging scene today. We need to think about our lines instead. Okay. That's a wrap. You two did a great job on this one. By Fangshir. Come with me. Ouch, slow down, Xing Yu. What's this brat up to now? What's up? What's going on? Alright, who upset you this time? You did. Me? What did I do? I've been with you the whole day. Is it true, you like Li Jiao, don't you? Why else would your acting be so realistic? Oh, he's still angry about the scene I did with her. Can we rewrite this scene? Rewrite? Why would you want to rewrite a scene between Fangshir and Li Jiao? Part 9. Scene 2. Shen Fang and Li Jiao's Hug Farewell. Uh, this is just a hugging scene. Nothing more. We can't keep changing the script like this if we want to stay on track. You're being too strict. Unless Fangshir changes careers entirely, he still needs to do his job as an actor. Would you change careers for me? First, he makes me choose between him and my mom, now he wants me to quit acting. This ends here. I can't keep spoiling him. Ugh, I can't, no. An innocent kitten wouldn't hatch a nasty scheme, right? Fine. Once we finish filming Calming the Storms, I'll think about it. Nope, this doesn't hurt at all. No rewrites allowed. We're going to stick to the script. I've always liked Fauncher. I wanted to cast him in my next film. But at this rate, he's going to quit the industry before this film's even finished. Behave yourself. Stop dragging your personal affairs into work. You're both grown adults. What will people think if word gets out? Ugh, kids these days. They really just say anything when they're in love. The scene felt realistic because I'm a good actor. Sheng Yu is the most attractive person I've ever seen. No matter what he says or does, he always makes everything look perfect. Confessions of a Judgmental Man Are you trying to strangle me? He's never been this clingy before. Why does it feel like he's getting worse? There's something I want to discuss with you. What's going on? I have a bad feeling about this. Let's sleep together tonight. We should just sleep together from now on. My room is across from yours anyway. Just bring over your pajamas. Of course, you don't need to bring them. I've learned some new tricks. Should we try them out tonight? Sign. We tried so many times three years ago. Three years ago? No. I still can't do it. Let's try something else. There has to be a way to make this work. I don't feel like it. The result will be the same no matter what we try. It won't be the same this time. I used to only care about the results, but I've changed I won't force you to do this now. It's alright if you're not feeling up to it. But, I don't think you're as straight as you make yourself out to be. A straight guy wouldn't get this intimate with me. Right, Fang Fang? No way. I'm definitely straight. You can't fake this sort of stuff in bed. 
But, even I have to admit that his lips are soft and kissable, they feel really nice. So what the hell am I? Am I not completely straight, or am I just not gay enough? We shouldn't sleep together. I can't focus on work if we're in the same room. You distract me. I distract him, he he, this means I have a strong hold on him. Convincing himself. Well, if that's the case, then I'll forgive you this time. We'll keep to our own rooms for now. Good thing he wasn't insistent. It's not the failure that's scary, but the awkwardness that comes after the failure, the way Xing Yu acts indifferent when he's actually really disappointed. Just thinking about it makes me feel stressed. One week later. Xing Yu's request still haunts me. It's so hard to focus. By Fangshir, I've made up my mind. You should move in any way. Ha! Huh. I didn't catch that. We'll sleep together. Tonight, okay? What? Has he still not given up? I haven't been sleeping well the past few days. I need somebody to keep me company. Why don't you come stay with me, Fang Fang? Ever since he found out I like getting called Fang Fang. This guy's been. You need to reply to my message immediately, Fang Fang. Share all your passwords with me, Fang Fang. Let's change our profile pictures to a photo of us, Fang Fang. Expert at acting cute. Xing Yu's been acting up a lot more these days than he used to three years ago. He won't let me out of his sight for even a second. I really don't know how to deal with him. At times, he's like a pampered princess. He acts all sad and hurt if I'm even a little bit strict with him. Yet other times, he's like a tyrant. The more I try to win him over, the more he turns his nose up at me. Back to reality. Forget it. I must owe him something from a past life. He's just here to collect the debt. What do you mean by sleep together? The hotel is shabby, and my bed is too stiff plus, the air conditioning is way too hard to use. What's it like at your place? I'll just move over. The bed is too stiff. What is he, a fairy tale princess from Princess and the Pea? Fine. Just don't distract me when I'm working. Why would I distract you? I need to rehearse too. Now, we can practice our lines together. How does that sound? Alright, bring your pajamas with you tonight. Fan Fang. We're on set. Behave. Look like I need to prepare a little something for tonight. Sheng Yu. Hmm. Did you really bring all of this over? Since we're moving in together, we should look the part. How long do you actually plan on staying? Until we're done filming. Do you have a problem with that? My manager comes over from time to time. She might get upset if she sees you. It's no big deal. She'll get used to it. Oh right. I'll ask my staff to send the dog over. Now that we've finally reunited, we need to get a family photo of the three of us together. But he's forgotten you by now, you better start working on your dog handling skills, otherwise, he'll bite. How vicious. Like father, like son. We've finally reunited. Ha! Huh? We haven't talked to each other in three whole years. Has he been thinking about me this entire time? Hmm. It still seems a little crooked. I actually saw you once, after we split. What? Earlier this year, I went to your concert. What the hell? Ahem, I went on my own. I disguised myself pretty heavily so nobody would know. I just so happened to be in W City at the time, when I found out online that your concert was happening nearby. So I got myself a ticket and attended in disguise. He's all grown up now. He feels like a complete stranger. It's like a rift has formed between us, imagination. That was all just my imagination. This is what's really going on. Oh, what else did you see besides the concert? Have you been following me in secret? No, I have a lot of things on my plate. I don't have time for that. But I've been following you. I kept track of everything you've been up to for the past three years. You're so heartless. I... So, are you going to tell me your lock screen password? Or do you have some unspeakable secret in your phone that you can't show me? 
No, I just use the fingerprint lock. Then scan my fingerprint too. I still need my privacy, kid. He's got that troubled look on his face again. Fine. One week later. By Fangshir. Does working with me bother you? What's wrong? The last time I went on leave to do a promotional shoot, people online were saying all sorts of things. I heard that Shin Yu doesn't focus on filming at all. He just keeps taking sick days and attending events. He's particularly hard to please, too. What an unreasonable guy. Well, he only got in because of his connections, after all. No wonder he has no artistic integrity. I feel bad for Fangshir. All that effort put into the film, and now his whole future's in jeopardy. This film is doomed. He's just getting dragged down. Well, maybe a little. But it's not a big deal. What's the matter with you? Is this all my fault? If only I weren't in calming the storms. That film was supposed to be a touchstone of your acting career, but I ruined everything. Do you hate me now? I get it. What's going on? Was it something someone said? We haven't even finished filming yet. How are you so certain that the film is doomed? Just keep it up. You've got this. You've been doing very well so far, so don't worry about it, alright? What if I ruin everything for you? I see, so he's just worried that he'll drag me down. It's okay. I won't blame you. I failed you the entire three years we were apart. You don't have to feel guilty. I have a lot to make up for, after all. Besides, I'm sure the director had his reasons for casting you. Even if the film flops, you won't be entirely to blame. Why does it feel like you're getting harder to comfort these days? I don't care about how well the film does, really. You are so much more important than my career. I've already starred in so many films. Good roles are a dime a dozen. I can always just find another one. This fickle brat truly is one of a kind. He can be so easy and so difficult to please at the same time. Ouch! What the hell man? Your fans have been calling me a bad apple. They're openly insulting your boyfriend. Can't you do something about it? They might just be right. All right, all right, I understand. By Fangshir. Today, 6.58 p.m. 1. Casting is a complex process that involves discussions between many parties. The director always gets the final say. 2. There are all kinds of people in our production. Some are enthusiastic, while some can be a little more distant and slow to open up. Despite this, everyone is determined to do their best for the film. No one should be targeted by malicious rumors. 3. Sheng Yu is my friend. He's a great guy. I'm not your friend. Right, right. You're that kind of friend. Well then, can I exercise my right as your friend today? What do you mean? When can we get a little more intimate? To be honest, I actually came out to my family a while ago, my parents know about us. Not that they agree to our relationship. Why is he bringing this up all of a sudden? Why would he come out to his parents as the only child in the family? I can't tell if he's being brave here, or just really naive. So I made a bet with them at the time. The two of you aren't going to work out. He's not coming back. Sheng Yu's mother. Nonsense. He's definitely coming back for me. Three years passed. I lost the bet, you all but disappeared for three whole years. I waited for you every day, hoping you would come back to take me with you. But you never returned, you never returned, by Fangshir. Because by then, we had already. I know what you're going to say. But what about now? When are you introducing me to your parents? Isn't it a bit too early for that? We already talked about this, right? There's no need to rush this, yeah yeah. Why are you still hesitating? You know what my family is like. My father's a TV actor, and my mother works in theater, 
They're not that famous. But they're still quite well connected within the industry. They've supported me a lot throughout my career. My parents were very disappointed. They worried that I would lose myself in the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. Well, what do you think? I know myself. I don't get influenced by my circumstances that easily, and I don't care really what other people think of me. But it's not like I can just ignore my parents' thoughts and wishes. What do you mean? If I were to tell them about our relationship, there's no telling how they'd react. Would they disapprove of us? Support us? Or would they be ambivalent? Either way, we shouldn't go public with this just yet. Besides, I still haven't shrugged off all the rumors yet. It'd be very irresponsible of me to be careless with this reveal. By Fangshir. Shut up. I'm not listening. Please let me go. Sheng Yu, just give me a little more time, alright? To be honest, I'm still not sure about this. What if I'm stuck like this forever? Even if we stay together, do you really not mind this at all? Sheng Yu, no matter what happens in the future, even if we don't end up together, I hope we can still be friends. I hope we can still smile if we bump into each other. Don't. No way. Why would I want to be friends? I don't need a friend like you. Look at him. Sheng Yu really doesn't deserve to be so lonely, he should be shining brightly on a concert stage, surrounded by fans who worship and adore him. An unrivaled star right at the center of attention. The Sheng Yu I admire is confident, capable, and excels at everything he does. But he's been forcing himself out of his comfort zone just to get closer to me, he has to struggle with acting all day. And when he's criticized, he just blames himself. Do you really, like, me that much? When we first met, you were unusually clingy with me, even though you usually kept other people at arm's length. I didn't think anything of it at the time, of course you'd like me, I thought. I'm such a likable guy. Of course you'd fall for me. But you just kept on liking me, even after all my pride fell away. After all these years, I really don't deserve someone like you waiting for me. I'm not extraordinary or even particularly talented. I'm just a nobody. Here. Don't worry, they're all low calorie. Purple yam? Why are you feeding me these purple yam chips? Because I am only yours. Where'd you get all these cheesy pickup lines, Xing Yu? If you like them, I'll tell you these jokes all day, every day. Come on. Here's another. Open wide. Hey, cut it out. Miss Yu left a message for you. She and the boss are off to a meeting with some business partners today, so she wants you to be careful there are a lot of cameras on set today. Just don't get caught together with Sheng Yu, okay? He must be royally pissed right now, he usually won't leave me alone, but I haven't seen him all morning. He's probably felt his fair share of anger over the past three years. What with all those pent-up emotions, it's probably been a while since he was truly happy. What right do I have to get mad at him? I'm his boyfriend, after all. I should be the one to cheer him up. At the time, nobody could have seen it coming, my relationship with Sheng Yu was about to get revealed in most drastic of ways. Come on. Give me a smile, yeah yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. What do you want? Why are you so cute? Come on, keep those emotions pent up like that and you'll turn into a pufferfish. Cheer up, okay. What if I tell you my lock screen password? The password's your birthday. Try it. Can't help himself. It's your birthday. What is your problem, by Fangshir? This is such a stupid prank to pull. Alright, alright. Let me actually change it to your birthday. 970523, right? There we go. Will you smile for me now? Get lost. He's so easy to please. Fauncher, your scene's coming up. It's you. Duan, if you really despise me that much, come from my head and mine alone. You don't need to bend over backwards as an imperial lackey. You've made an enemy of the entire martial arts world. An imperial lackey? 
The high and mighty Shinshur settled in quickly after taking off his imperial robes. Is your old home nothing but a memory to you now? I could say the same of you. Looks like I can't escape the clutches of death today. Care to catch up a little before I die? Once I pass on, there's no telling if we'll ever see each other again, in the next life or... Ha! Huh. Do you remember when we first met? You were gambling with a charlatan at the bamboo grove. Your wallet was emptied so thoroughly that you couldn't even afford another cup of wine. It was a miracle you hadn't wagered the clothes on your back. You smiled at me when I passed by. Hey there, could you lend me some money? I'll pay you back after I win this round. It was as if, you'd walked right out of my imagination. I thought we shared something special as such close friends, that we'd always have this intimate bond to fall back on. Even as we stand here as enemies today, there is still a part of me, that feels the same way about you. You don't need to. But the Duan Yang I know is already dead. Shen Fang, my road is my own. Only I have the right to judge its morality. I don't live my life according to your lofty standards. If I disgust you so much, you can go and find someone else to admire. Why waste your breath on such drivel? What do your feelings have to do with me? I have no use for them. I don't need your admiration. Leave his corpse intact. This is the final time I'm letting you off, Shen Fang. From now on, you live your life, and I'll live mine. Our relationship ends here. All right. Duan Yang, he was once such a bright-eyed young man. But at the whims of fate, he's become someone both cruel and destructive, there's no turning back at this point now that we're all but strangers to each other. Our relationship has indeed long been over. Cut. All right, it's a wrap. Today's take was pretty good. You both seemed really into it. Have you two been practicing in private? All right, now go remove your makeup and get ready for the media interviews. Let's get everything done so we can call it a day. What did the makeup artist put on me? My eyes are itching like crazy. What's wrong? It's nothing. There are still people here. Follow me. Sit down. How did I do? You were incredible. Any special reason behind your amazing performance today? I don't know. Maybe I was possessed. It was a lot easier to get into character today. This was the first time I realized that, watching a movie and starring in one are completely different experiences. I don't think I'd like Duan Yang as a character if I were just another audience member. But it's a different story when I'm playing the role myself. I feel like I experienced every step of Duan Yang's journey personally. He's become a part of me, and I'm now a part of him. I can't believe he got so into it. Why are you smiling like that? What's so funny? It's nothing. I'm just really happy for you. That's exactly how I felt when I first started acting. I fell in love with the job immediately, and swore I'd be an actor for the rest of my life. What about you? Are you going to continue acting after this film is done? And get taken advantage of like that in broad daylight? No thanks. What, do you want to see me in intimate scenes with other people? Speaking of, have you ever gone overboard with scenes like these? What do you mean overboard? Kissing scenes? Bed scenes? Out with it. No. I've only ever starred in basic films. Even the kissing scenes I've had were mostly just stage kisses, I swear on my life. Mostly? So you have been in real kissing scenes, then? Come on, can we please stop talking about work when we're not on the clock? No way. Alright, alright. I won't do those kinds of scenes anymore. I won't let any actresses even come near me from now on. Are we cool now, Mr. Sheng? By Fangshir, you're always so careless with me. No, not one bit. Ouch! We still need to do the media interviews. If we get caught like this. What do you have to say for yourself, Fang Fang? What the hell do I say at a time like this? Now, 
let's continue. We're still on set, you know, stop. I wonder how you're going to make it up to me this time. Shall we discuss this on the way back? What do you say, Fang Fang? What did I do wrong this time? Welcome to the stream, old underscore Lee. Welcome to the stream, lunar cat. Welcome to the stream, fanxious little fairy. Welcome to the stream, shangyues girl. Welcome to the stream, waiting for the underscore eclipse. Welcome to the stream, shangy waifufu. Live. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? I can't believe I lived long enough to see this. Can I really watch this for free? Ah. Keep going. Don't worry about the number of views. Ah, I approve. My OTP is real. Wow, Sheng Yu such a top. I'm not dreaming, right? They're a match made in heaven. I ship it. When a scene like this is captured live, what does it mean? Guys we're not dreaming right OMG. Keep going. Hurry up. Ah, uh, why is Fangshur the bottom? Oh no. I can't accept this. Did you two watch the live stream? Of course. I can't believe the lunar eclipse is real. With all this drama, I don't even want to work. The fandom's best day ever. Team A, dig up every last detail about by Fangshur and Sheng Yu. Team B, keep an eye on social media and follow up on the reporting. Team C, keep trying to contact their managers. A field day for the media. Stop the wedding, Lee. The servers are down. A programmer's worst nightmare. Both relevant companies admit defeat. Top trends, did both Bai Fangshir and Sheng Yu just come out? Bai Fangshir and Sheng Yu's passionate kiss. I knew the lunar eclipse was real. The day has finally arrived. This can't be real. Why would Sheng Yu be a top when he's such a spoiled brat? No way, impossible. Unacceptable. We have to protect our Sheng Yu. This must be a conspiracy. He's still not answering my calls. By Fangshir, you're such a headache. By Fangshir. Xing Yu? That brat. What's he doing here? What the hell have you gotten yourself into, Fangshir? Speaking of Xing Yu's family, his grandfather is a powerful man who often appears on the news. Xing Yu is the son of a prominent plutocrat. Xing Yu is an only child. He grew up in a world that catered to his every whim, so it's no surprise that he's so willful. But why does this brat absolutely have to mess with Bai Fangshir? Xing Yu doesn't need to worry about his future or his career being affected by this. But what about Fangshir? Fangshir, give me a call when you're free. No 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 I cannot, will not, absolutely refuse to accept this. My Fangshir isn't a bottom. Seconded, even if they were actually dating, Fangshir would definitely be the top. This is the Lunar Eclipse fandom, what you see is what you get. It is what it is. Wake up, Shuruwe shippers. Heh, silly Shuruwe fans. Do you want evidence that badly? Isn't he adorable? Do you still think he can't be the bottom? What do you have to say to this? Give us the photo without the watermark, please. How have I never seen this before? Which show is this from? This isn't from a show. I took it myself. Humph. These shippers are so annoying. Just shut up and accept reality already. What did your mom say? Nothing really. It went about as expected. What? Did she ask you to stop messing around with MEP? Does she object to our relationship? Pretty much. And you agreed? What do you think? No way. Don't you dare promise her anything without my permission. You hear me? Xing Yu, I can't keep up. Are you going to listen to your mom? Bai Fangshir, you better make a statement right now. You need to clarify your relationship with him. Hey, don't leave me hanging. 
Say something. I'm not going to listen to her. I told her to give me some time to think. Think about what? How you're going to break up with me? No. I just need to figure out how I'm going to handle this entire mess. I still need to find a way to explain all this to my company. You absolute. Hey, Mr. Bai, I'm just here to pass on a message. The airport trip this afternoon has been cancelled. We're holding off on moving to the next location for now, so don't worry about packing. What happened? I'm not sure. Director Zhao is sulking downstairs. I think something happened, seems like we got into some legal trouble with a certain department. We've been ordered to stop the shoot. Legal trouble? What is it this time? Hello? Xinyu, come home this instant. Hey. I have to go back for a while. Is everything okay? What did your mom say? Oh. So now you're worried about me? It's going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't you dare get up to anything while I'm away. Here, you just need to sign this agreement. Already prepared. The rule of three, one, call me every time you're free. Two, reply to my texts immediately. Three, don't get too close to others. Fang Fang, can we go public with our relationship? I want to be with you properly, not just in secret. No way. What are you even thinking? I'm a straight man. We're just not right for each other. Let's break up. I've always liked you so much. I waited for you for three whole years. Even though you never came back, I never stopped looking for you. You hold a special place in my heart, right here. Why can't you understand my feelings for you? I know all of this already. You can say whatever you want, but have you ever tried putting yourself in my shoes? Am I just making your life difficult? Isn't that obvious? You've always been way too self-absorbed. You never care what I need. No. It's not like that, please don't give me that look. No. What on earth was that dream? I would never break up with Xinyu. It's also not like I blame him for what happened. What if that was a true reflection of my subconscious? Xing Yu looked so sad and desperate in my dream, I can still see his face vividly. No. I need to do something about this. I never want to see that look on Xing Yu's face. By Fangshir. What the he? Miss ya, the production has been put on hold. Do you know anything about this? Well, their official statement is that the environmental authorities are forbidding us from shooting in the mountains because we might damage the local scenery. That's obviously an excuse. Given how Xing Yu was suddenly called home, his family is definitely behind this. Fangshir, seeing as you're waiting on news since the production has been dismissed, could you come by the office for a bit? All right, I'll head over right now. The internet must be absolutely teeming and rumors and gossip by now, but it's not like the company can just suspend my Weibo account. Login. Error. Password incorrect. This doesn't surprise me a single bit. Why didn't Miss Ya say anything, though? The company probably took away my account to prevent me from posting anything weird. Logging into an alt account. It was just a joke. There's nothing more to it. Knock it off. They posted this without my permission. Please hurry. Blueprint Entertainment. Boss Chin Hao. President Chin, what's the meaning of this? I've made it abundantly clear that you cannot just post things like this on my behalf. Xing Yu is definitely going to blow up when he sees this post. He'll just think I'm trying to run away again. He didn't even reply to my messages. You think this was my idea? This was a demand from Xing Yu Studio. I can't afford to offend them. Do you understand? I had no choice. Since when did Xing Yu Studio have the right to speak on my behalf? I signed with Blueprint Entertainment as an actor, sir, not a slave. Give me back my account. Please stop fighting, you two, come on. Absolutely not. We're still in the eye of the storm. You need to listen to us. Fine. 
since there's no room for discussion. It's finally over. Looks like Sheng Yu was just putting it lightly when he said his parents don't agree to our relationship. They're completely against it. Both our parents object to our relationship. As do our agencies, our fans, and society on the whole. Even my own resolution is shaky to why else would I rant about him in my dream? It feels like Sheng Yu is standing alone against the entire world. I don't want to let Ye Ye get hurt anymore, if I let my agency have their way this time, there'll be no turning back for us. So this is my decision. Since there's no room for discussion, let's terminate the contact. No matter what happens, I don't want to make him sad. I don't care what people say anymore, even if I delete the post. All I care about now is. Why won't Xing Yu pick up his phone? Nobody's answering. No matter how many times I call, is Xing Yu ignoring my calls because he's still mad at me? Or did his family take away his phone? Let me out. It's not like they'd lock him up without a phone or any way to get out, right? Impossible. It's the 21st century. Even if they disapprove of our relationship, they wouldn't ground him to that extent. Plus, knowing Xing Yu's personality, that would just have the opposite effect on him. He just but heads with them even harder. But, it's just that, are you really alright over there? Three days later, early morning. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah, Xing Yu. Yeah yeah, my agency was the one that posted that status. They locked me out of my own account. I've gotten back the account and deleted the post, though. I also terminated my contract with them. Please don't be mad at me. Can you please pick up your phone? Yeah yeah, I miss you so bad. Hey Fonsher, you haven't had breakfast yet, right? I brought you your favorite dim sum. Fonsher brings in so much money for the company. The boss isn't going to let him go that easily. I was supposed to talk him out of quitting, but not even a few days have passed and Fangshir has already blocked me on all our messaging apps. A wronged employee. No thanks. I'm not hungry. By the way, miss ya, you aren't my manager anymore. You're still young, you know, Fangshir. Romance isn't everything. You should look ahead and prioritize your career while you still can. Wait. Just one more thing. Now that production for calming the storms has halted and your resignation's been leaked, the internet is absolutely teeming with various conspiracies about what happened. So? Don't be so stubborn. If you go against the Xing family, it'll come back to haunt you sooner or later. I understand Ms. Ye's concerns, but I've come too far to give in now. Fang Fang. I can be brave for Yeya's sake. Hello? What's with that response? Only a few days apart and now all you can manage is a hello? Ha! Huh. Looks like he's fine if he's still complaining about stuff like this. I've been locked up at my grandpa's place for the past few days. They took away my phone. Goodness knows where he gets all that free time. I've already played three whole days worth of chess with him. I'm about to die of boredom. Did you get my messages? Yeah. Where are you now? Let's talk in person. I'll sneak out to see you. Come in. Hurry. His hands are ice cold. I guess he really did sneak out. He didn't even manage to grab a coat on the way out even though it's freezing outside. Here. I'll warm you up. Fang Fang just hugged me. A hug is nowhere near enough, you know. It's been so long since we talked. Were you worried about me? Yeah. That's more like it. I asked about the issues with the production. My mom really is the one behind all this, she doesn't want to see us together. 
She's actually openly expressed support for the LGBT community before. That's the only reason why I came out to my family. But she has a different opinion now that her son is the one that's gay. Supporting a nameless LGBT person is easy, but I guess it's different when your own son is a part of the community. That's one thing. The other issue is. What is it? My mom says that you don't actually like me. I'm doomed if I stay with you. What do you think? Are we actually doomed? Not at all. If you'd asked me this a week ago, I probably wouldn't have given you such a quick answer. But now, I already resigned from my agency for you, I'm not afraid of my career getting affected anymore. We won't be separated that easily. Our relationship may seem fragile on the surface, but perhaps it's actually a lot stronger than I've been giving it credit for. I'm very, very sure that I like you. I like you a lot. Keep going. Don't stop. Is this what they mean when they say misfortune makes the heart grow fonder? I don't think that's how the saying goes. It's fine. Even if you quit your agency, I can take care of you for the rest of our life. You won't need to go to work anymore. From now on, we'll just be together every day. What do you say? But I'll get bored to death if I retire now, yeah yeah. Isn't it enough just to have my company? Cut it out. I still need to talk to you about something. You mentioned that when you came out to your family, you made a bet with your parents. What was that about? We'll talk about that later. I'm not in the mood right now. I don't care who objects to our relationship. Right now, we have our own problems to take of. Right, Fang Fang? What do you mean? Here. I won't, will this do? Please, Fang Fang. Look on his face, all right. This is foul play, yeah yeah. See for yourself, Fang Fang. Your reaction is pretty different now, isn't it? No. Half an hour later. I'm gonna go take a shower. Hum. Iota won't let you. This was my first time satisfying Xing Yu. We didn't manage to get to the final stage, but I've done my best to please him. I guess that's why he's still hanging on to the moment. What time is it? I'm getting hungry. What about you, yeah yeah? Here, eat this. Cut it out. It's time for dinner. I should go and shower, ahem. Do you want to shower with me? Shower. Together. I accept this proposal. You just have to carry me to the bathroom. Fine, this brat is being really clingy today. How's the water? Why don't you come in and find C? Such a spoiled brat. What the hell? You said yourself that you wanted to bathe with me. Again? Yeah yeah, I'm starving. Need some help, Fang Fang? Did this brat just offer to help out with cooking? Am I imagining things, or has the world gone crazy? Sure, go fry up some eggs. I'm going to keep chopping these scallions. Roger that. He's really grown up. Heh, how difficult can it be to fry an egg? Wait, Shang. Half an hour later. Man, takeout is the best. Yeah, for sure. I'd rather die than let you set foot in the kitchen again. Sheng Yu and I really need to communicate better, we should air out everything about our pasts, and then figure out how we're going to move forward from here. Ahem. Three years ago. After we split up, did you go back home immediately? I stayed in school for a few days, then I heard that you'd left, you didn't even say goodbye. Well, we'd just broken up. It's not like I could just casually tell you that I was leaving. I ended up sulking for a bit. When I finally went to look for you, you were already gone. This is clearly by Fangshir's fault. How dare he just walk away like this. After that, I dropped out of school and insisted on going into show business. I didn't discuss any of this with my family. That was when I came out to my parents. They were furious, of course. But I didn't care. Nobody could tell me what to do. 
My mom had no choice but to compromise. She said she'd agree to my request, but only if you came back for me. If you begged her for a chance, she'd let us be together. If you didn't return, I had to give up on you. I thought this condition was way too simple. I missed you so much. You had to feel the same way about me, right? Wrong. Those were just my own wild fantasies. We were together in the entertainment industry for so long. Yet no matter how closely our social circles overlapped, you never came to look for me. I waited for three whole years, and you never even followed me on Weibo. Yeah yeah. I thought my mom was behind all this. She'd pretend to make a bet with me, but then she would turn around and threaten you to keep your distance. But then. Then I came to my senses. You're just a heartless scumbag. Why are you still with me, then? Who knows? Maybe I've gone insane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah yeah. I thought you never wanted to see me again. All those years, I'd been avoiding you on purpose. I thought that it was for our own good. That we could just avoid being awkward around each other. Awkward? Was that really all that was left of our relationship, even though I was your first love? What about now, then? Now? I like you a whole lot. I can't let him figure out that I'm actually super happy right now. What did your mom say to you this time when you were summoned home? She said I broke my promise. She didn't care about me at all when I was just shooting calming the storms, but now that there's drama brewing between us, she's mad again. She's way too hard to please. To be honest, I'm also kind of surprised. When did we suddenly get back together? I should be asking you that question. You've been leading me by the nose, yeah yeah. I'm about to lose my job and now because of you. Hee <laughs> hee, that's no big deal. I said I'd provide for us, right? You have nothing to worry about. That's not the issue here. Then why are you worried? I don't care about anything other than being with you, no matter who gets in our way. Even my mom, or even you. I won't let my mom get between us. I'll figure this out. Don't you dare leave. No room for argument. All right, all right. Anything you say, Mr. Sheng. One week later. These past few days have been so peaceful. No one's shown up to try and pull us apart. I expected Sheng Yu's mom to come for me, but she's aimed her wrath at Sheng Yu instead. She transferred away all his money, cancelled all his advertising contracts, media appearances, and ongoing deals, her intention is clear. If Sheng Yu loses everything, he'll start to burden me financially and become a stain on my reputation. Sheng Yu himself will start panicking too. With this, we'll start to grow resentful of each other, and she can tear us apart from the inside. She's also trying to tell me that I won't get a single benefit from Sheng Yu's status and family. Come and give me a kiss, son. Your dad is thinking about life right now. Don't you go and interrupt him. No, Sheng Yu is much stronger than I think. Time for a bath, son. Well, both the dog and I have moved in here officially now. I'll just take this as my mom's approval of our relationship. As long as you aren't affected by any of this, I'll be okay. The three of us are officially living together now. Oh right. I have one more card, but I haven't used it in ages. I don't remember how much money I have on it. It's okay, I don't need. It's fine, everything my parents own will belong to me someday anyway. Your parents would explode if they heard what you just said. Sheng Yu's career has been smooth sailing the past few years, but I'm sure he's had his own share of suffering in the industry too. It can't be easy to cut yourself off from something you poured so much time and effort into. Nobody can just suddenly stop caring about something they worked for with their own two hands. I'm sorry you have to go through all of this, yeah yeah. He's still awake. At least it was me, not you. What? Your future. I never really cared about my job all that much. But now that all of it's gone, I actually feel pretty terrible. But if this had happened to you, you love your job so much. 
A few days ago, when I said, it's no big deal, I can provide for you, that didn't actually help at all, did it? Sheng Yu's actually trying to put himself in my shoes for once. Should I really be happy about this? I've just been thinking about this over and over. If someone forced me to choose between love and my career, I'd choose you without question. But even if you chose me, you wouldn't be happy. I've already chosen you, yeah yeah. As for the rest, we'll figure it out as we go. Maybe we won't find a perfect solution, but there's definitely going to be a way out. Every bit of growth comes at the cost of a little happiness. This mature version of Sheng Yu isn't happy at all. Go to sleep. It's getting late. To be honest, I don't really want Sheng Yu to grow up at all. I just want him to be my Ye Ye forever. Did I imagine that? When did I say that? When we were on set. What, you scared now? Are you sure about this? Won't your mom kick us out? No, my mom isn't that unreasonable. Sleep well. I'll take you to meet my parents tomorrow. Meet my parents 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 meet my parents. Meet my parents. Should I get something for your parents? Since I'm going to be their son-in-law and all. Maybe you should tell my parents you're my stay-at-home wife. My mom might like you more if she thinks of you as a daughter-in-law. I've heard that those relationships usually work out pretty poorly. Fine, you can be a son-in-law then. Check, please. Sorry, sir. Your card was declined. Please use this one. I can't believe I've been reduced to bumming off Fangshir. How can I meet my in-laws when I've been reduced like this? I transferred a few thousand yuan into your account. Think of it as your allowance. This is clearly a good thing, but I somehow just feel even more embarrassed. Rip his last shred of dignity. Fangshir. Help me with my tie. We're just meeting my parents, you know. This isn't some business meeting. You don't need to dress up that much. Here, try this on. It might look better on you. On it. I have to leave a good impression on Fangshir's parents. He's so eager today. I actually suggested this meeting on a whim, but thinking it over now, this really is the right thing to do. I should be doing what I can to reassure Ye Ye. Our relationship is why he fell out with his family, after all. We've arrived. How would you describe your parents' personalities? They're pretty patient. I wouldn't call them strict, really. Let's go. What's wrong? Fang Fang, I don't want to get out of the car. Don't worry. My parents wouldn't get mad in front of us. They might discuss our relationship in private, but we won't have to deal with that. Give me a little kiss. Hmm. Come on, right here. All right. Still nervous after the kiss. When Xing Yu first arrived on set, he had a whole group of bodyguards and assistants following him everywhere. He was like a prince at the center of his own universe. But he's given all that up for me. Don't worry. No matter what they say, they can't affect us or our relationship. Okay. Welcome. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Please come in. Let's go. He's never been so well behaved in his life. Oh, you're already here. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm finishing up some cooking. I'll leave you to it. Ah, uh, it's not just Xing Yu. My parents look pretty nervous as well. But we all have to face this sooner or later. Half an hour later. So, how long have you two known each other? A little over three years. We went our separate ways for a bit, but we're back together again. I wouldn't have brought him here today if I wasn't absolutely certain about this. Sir, ma'am. I'll definitely treat him well. He sure sounds like a proper son-in-law. Good job, yeah yeah. 
Ha, huh, you sure have a way with words. He's way too nervous. Oh ho, you sure can hold your liquor, son. Let's keep going. One more. One hour later. Bye, ma'am. Bye, sir. Drive safe. Bye. Fong Fong, how'd I do? It's like I'm taking care of a child. What are you doing? Fong Fong, I'm drunk. Yeah, that's why we're getting you home. Before we get back, there's something else I want to do. Cut it out. We're still in the car. Isn't this perfect though? New map, unlocked. Looks like we won't be getting home until we do what he wants. I'm not drunk. One more round, sir. We're finally back home. This damn booze hound. Hey, handsome. Give me a smile. You've got me wrapped around your finger. But then again, Yeya really does look stunning. With his unique mixed heritage, it's hard to pin down exactly why he looks so good. Is he handsome, or is he pretty? When someone looks this attractive, typical beauty standards just get thrown straight out the window. You can't just describe him with words as mundane as handsome or pretty. The most accurate way to sum up his looks would be, mesmerizing. Wait, is this why I got back together with him? Did I just fall head over heels for his charm? I even took him to meet my parents. You'd feel terrible if we objected to you two being together, wouldn't you? You seem to really value this relationship. I do. Come to think of it, mom specifically asked if I valued the relationship. She didn't just ask whether I liked him. She really chose her words carefully. They're parents, after all. Ultimately, they're worried about whether our relationship can last. People our age are known for making impulsive decisions in the name of passion and romance. Decisions that might be bad for us in the long term. We have a lot of time on this earth. Nobody can really predict all the obstacles we'll have to face. Our relationship will easily get washed away by all the storms along the way if we don't clearly value each other, if we don't hold steady. But what does it mean to value someone like that? How do we even build a relationship that can weather it all? The heart of an adult human weighs no more than 300 grams it needs to be evenly portioned out to one's family, friends, colleagues, even their careers and hobbies. How much of our heart can we leave for our beloved? Even if I love only Sheng Yu for the rest of my life, the love I can give is ultimately limited. Especially since our relationship is already so fraught with baggage and misfortune, we have to go through so much just to be with each other, not to mention dealing with judgment from everyone else. All this makes a long-term relationship feel impossible. Why is his brow furrowed in his sleep? Fang Fang. What were you dreaming about? What are you up to? Ha! Huh? What on earth are you up to? Why didn't you come looking for me? Do you even remember me? Don't tell me you got yourself a girlfriend. How can you be so irresponsible? Don't you know you'll just disappoint your fans? Since when did I get a girlfriend? Why don't I know about this? You're not allowed to get a girlfriend. Break up with her now. I told you to break up with her, you hear me? Looks like he's pretty drunk. Your girlfriend is ugly. She only got that pretty face of hers from plastic surgery. One single photo takes two hours to retouch before she uploads it online. She can't even compare to my big toe. How do I even respond to that? You're such a handful. If you can't handle your alcohol, then don't drink so much next time. I told you to break up with her. Are you even listening? I don't have a girlfriend. What the hell are you talking about? You're still denying your crimes? Xing Yu, are you a cat or something? Fang Fang, will you break up with your girlfriend for me? Fine, I'll break up with her. Whatever you say. That's more like it. Finally, I can go to sleep. Time to tuck myself in. Hold it. Now we can sleep. He's really just going to treat me like a body pillow, huh? 
Half an hour later. He's finally gone to sleep. Being a body pillow sure isn't easy. I can't even feel my arms or legs anymore. This script. One week ago. Don't be so hasty about leaving, Fangshir. We can still talk about this, right? Here, have a look at this. Feel free to make any requests you want. If I'm not mistaken, the director of this movie is pretty famous. He's aiming for huge awards with this movie. The competition for this role is fierce even among famous actors. I'm still a newbie on the scene, the chances of me getting casted are pretty slim. Oh, right. The boss told me to let you know that as long as you come back, you'll have a guaranteed spot in the film. I'm thinking of taking a brief hiatus. Any work arrangements will have to wait until I feel like I've rested enough. Past me probably would have been really tempted by this offer, but there's just been too much going on lately. Rather than my acting career, the thing I'm the most worried about right now is Shen Yu. The initial plan was for him to release a new album next spring and go on tour. Now everything's been put on hold. Who knows when things will go back to normal. Will he even be able to hold more concerts? All the popularity he's built up slowly the past three years will go to waste if this drags on. And there's still calming the storms. It's not like production can just be put on hold indefinitely. We need to make this up to the crew somehow. It'd be way too irresponsible to just walk away like this without an explanation. But what can I even do? Right now, at this very moment, I only feel at peace with Ye Ye by my side. Xing Yu's awake. What's he doing showering in the middle of the night? Let me sleep please. No, if we sleep now, tonight will be over. We already visited your parents today. It's time we take this to the next level, Fang Fang. What on earth are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? We've been together for a while, but we still haven't gotten that close to each other yet. Even if I hadn't brought it up, aren't you curious about this at all? If we stay like this, no matter how well you treat me, I'll still feel like a kid to you. I don't want to just be your Sheng Sheng. Tonight, I want to be your man. Okay, Fang Fang? Come on, Fang Fang. The atmosphere right now is perfect. I know we should strike while the iron is hot, but... The last few times we tried this, well, those memories still haunt me. I can't help but get really nervous. Yeah yeah, we have all the time in the world to try things out. There's no need to rush this, right? No. I want to do this today, Fang Fang, please. Don't keep turning me down like this. Fang Fang, Fang Fang. Come on, Fang Fang. Yeah yeah, isn't asking for my consent he's just trying to seduce me. He really has grown up, hasn't he? But where'd he learn all this from? Has he been watching too many R-rated movies? Or is this all just a natural extension of his strong feelings? What are you spacing out for? Am I really that unattractive to you? No, it's not that. Just the opposite. He's way too attractive. Yeah yeah, what if we change it up a little? You can be the bottom this time. I feel like, ahem, this is more comfortable for me. What do you mean? Are you just going to close your eyes and imagine you're doing it with a woman? Do you even know how to do this? I bet you don't. I can learn, yeah yeah. Forget it. Since you don't want to do this, fine. Did I piss him off? Looks like, I need to come clean. 15 minutes later. You haven't changed a single bit. 365 days in a year and he spends 300 of them angry. When will he learn to just chill out a little? I. Hold on. Just listen to me. I'm being reluctant about this not because I don't like you, but because. Because what? There's no way I'm letting him off the hook if he says he thinks it's unnecessary. I, I'm worried it'll hurt. Yeah yeah, it's not that I don't want to. I'm just a little, nervous. I'm being serious. Please believe me. That's it? Fang Fang, why are you only telling me this now? 
Any pretty words now will fall on deaf ears. I need to actually prove my commitment through my actions. To Sheng Yu, this is a necessary rite of passage that'll affirm his place in our relationship. Did you know, Fang Fang? I'm the one getting tortured by you, you drive me absolutely crazy both mentally and physically. Look at me, Fang Fang. What do you see in my eyes? What? The most attractive person in the world. Yeah yeah. Now. Wait. I'm sorry. I... By Fang Shi. Didn't you just say you would trust me with your life? It's starting to feel more like you want my life instead. We failed again. This feels way too forced after all. Other couples have an endless well of passion, yet every time we try to do this, it's like we're both being punished. It just keeps getting worse each time, where did you get hit? I don't need your concern face. It was an accident. Please don't be mad. Stay here. I'll go get the first aid kit. Does it hurt? Nope. It's not like I'll die from this. I really didn't mean it. There's no way I'd push you on purpose. And yet you pushed me anyway. I'm sorry. You were just being a little too rough, and I couldn't stop myself. Zero practical experience. Did it really hurt that much? It really did, yeah yeah. When the thing you want is right in front of you, you're left only with your most basic of instincts. The closer you get, the harder it is to control yourself. One more time, what if we try again? You better answer the phone. I'll deal with you later. Hello. Xing Yu, it's me. What's wrong? I think something happened to my grandfather. What happened? Is he sick? He's fine. It's something to do with work. That was my mom on the phone. She didn't explain much either. She just told me to prepare for the worst. Sheng Yu's grandfather is a high-ranking official. Anything that happens to him will probably make the news. How will his family be affected? Don't read too much into it. Maybe it's not a big deal, and your mom's just trying to scare you. Fang Fang. Relax. It'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be all right. Hopefully this is all just a false alarm. My mom's an only daughter. My grandfather was very strict with her when she was younger. Maybe that's why he spoiled me so much when he got older. My grandfather practically raised me. He taught me how to play chess, and told me stories, he has very strong principles too. He isn't susceptible to bribery or any form of corruption. He also never makes enemies with anyone. I really hope he's okay. Yeah yeah, I keep hoping that he'll stay like this forever, but what right do I have to say that if I can't find the strength to protect him for the rest of his life? Accidents like this can happen at any time. How will these accidents affect Sheng Yu? He still has a lot of growing to do, but that also means changing. Will you regret all of this someday, yeah yeah? Regret what? Regret the fact that you fell in love with a straight guy at such a young age. Regret all of the pain you're going through right now. Will you feel stupid? Will I just become another sore topic in your past? I can already see it. Soon, when someone else mentions me, you won't be able to stop yourself from complaining about me. Or maybe you'll just laugh it off. What are you talking about? Why are you bringing this up now? Are you thinking of breaking up with me again? No. I'm just worried that you'll stop liking me someday. By then, you might regret everything you're going through right now. It'll all just feel like a waste to you. Are you doubting me? Do you really have such little faith in me? No, I didn't mean it that way. I've liked you for four years. You still think I'm not serious enough about this? By Fangshi, what are you thinking? What kind of person do you take me for? No, yeah yeah, I'm not doubting you, it's just, I'm just afraid that you'll leave me when you grow up. I've long since grown up. What the heck are you talking about? Are you my mom? Turns out he's just worried I'll dump him, ha. Huh? That's more like it. Don't worry. I won't leave you. 
I want to be like this forever, with Yeya, leaving the rest of the world behind. Let's get some pork ribs and corn. I'll make some soup today. I don't think that's a good idea. I just cleaned the kitchen not that long ago. Is she? Mom. Pack your things, Xingyu. You're coming home with me. Can I not? Sure. You don't have to come back. If you don't want to see your grandfather one last time, just stay here. Forever. Three days later. It's been three days since Sheng Yu left with his mom. The number you have dialed is unavailable. Yeah, yeah, are you there yet? What's going on? Please let me know when you turn your phone on again. I'll be waiting for you to call. I haven't been able to reach him at all the past few days. Are you okay over there, yeah, yeah? Weibo News. Shocking. Family history of popular idol Sheng Yu exposed. Grandfather of popular idol Sheng Yu was recently revealed to be a powerful political figure. His mother, Lin Hui Xin, currently works as An outside agent must be behind this. The Xin family would never willingly disclose this kind of information to the public. As for why someone would do something like this, it probably has to do with some unfortunate political power struggle. If Ye Ye's really been dragged into all of this, Ye Ye, the call went through this time. Fang Fang. How are you? Is everything alright? I don't know. My mom won't tell me anything. I miss you, Fang Fang. I want to see you so bad. Can you get out of the house? I can come find you. Sure. I'll try to get out. Otherwise, I may just never see you again. What do you mean? I think my mom wants to send me abroad. Give me an address. I'll be there right away. Where's Xing Yu? Is he still stuck at home? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you here? Ah, uh, I finally get to see you again. I'm so glad. Your hands are freezing. How long have you been waiting? Aren't you cold? I'm okay. What about you? I just got here. How long do we have? Do you still have to go back? The past few days, I... It's alright. You can say what you need to, I'm all ears. I'm not sure what's going on, but I can sense, that it's all very complicated. A lot of people are involved, and it's not just my grandfather anymore. Even my mom's been dragged into this. I'm really worried about my grandfather, he's already so old. I don't know if he can take the pressure. I can't believe he's going through all of this now. He was such an upstanding and honorable man. He's done so much good in his life. Yeah yeah, I'm here for you. I don't want to go back. Alright, you can sleep with me tonight. I'm not talking about that. What do you mean? Once I get home, my mom is going to make me go abroad. I don't want to go, I don't want to leave you. We just got back together. I'm still reeling from the three years we were apart. Now we're supposed to maintain a long-distance relationship. Across different countries, too. This is way too cruel. I... Can you bear to see me go? No, of course not. But I feel like you should listen to your mom. Go abroad for a while, lay low. Wait for the storm to pass. Don't worry about the distance. Just take care of yourself. Someday, we'll... Someday? What do you mean by that? Do you know how many someday's I've had to endure to get back together with you, by Fangshir? When we were on the phone, I kept trying to imagine what your face must have looked like. When you heard that I was going away, were you as anxious as me? Did you also find the news hard to swallow? Or have I a just been making fool of myself again? No, that's not what I meant. I know you're just looking out for me. You care about me, just like my mom. But you're not my mom. Aren't you supposed to beg me to stay? Don't you want to be with me forever? So much can go wrong in a long-distance relationship. What if either one of us falls for someone else? Aren't you worried at all? 
I trust you, yeah yeah. Well I don't trust you. Why am I always the one who gets my heart torn to pieces? I'm about to leave for an entirely different country, and you're not even trying to get me to stay. Yeah yeah. We finally managed to see each other, how did this become such a disaster? Love is truly an incomprehensible thing. It's impossible to manage, too. Hello. Hello. Yeah yeah. Just so you know, I'll be leaving tomorrow. I'm going back to where I used to study and redoing my coursework. I might be gone for a few years. Since you don't mind me leaving, I don't plan on returning. I'm never coming back again, by Fangshir. Goodbye. No. Yeah yeah. Can I see you one more time? I... Come out, I'm waiting for you downstairs. Sheng Yu is actually really easy to convince. Even if I hadn't said anything, he wouldn't have just left on his own. He'd just keep waiting somewhere close by. He'd wait and wait, until I showed up. Yeah yeah. I don't know why I'm still here, maybe I just wanted to get mad at you in person. I promised my mom that I'll leave tomorrow, so I'm just here to say goodbye. He's finally listening to me, but why do I still feel so awful? I can't even breathe. I'll be taking the 9 a.m. flight tomorrow. I'll send you off. We can still talk on the phone or video call each other, we'll keep in touch. If you ever miss me, I'll come visit you, okay? By Fangshir, I've always loved you. When you returned my feelings, when you didn't, when you forgot me, when you were hiding from me, when my existence meant nothing to you, have you ever, even for a moment, felt like you couldn't live without me? Of course not. But I have. The more I love you, the more I feel like this relationship is one-sided. Maybe I'm being too greedy. I'm always wanting more, never content with what I get. If it were possible, I'd want you to cut yourself off from the entire world. I want to be your everything. But that's an impossible dream. Yeah yeah, I should have held him tight long ago. Why are we fighting? We're not breaking up, are we, yeah yeah? Even when you board the flight tomorrow, we're not breaking up, right? Um. This isn't a breakup. Can you just say something nice to me for once? Like what? You wouldn't believe me anyway. So what if I don't believe you? I love you. I believe you. I love you too. Do you want to? I don't want to leave behind any bad memories tonight. I won't push you away again. Are you trying to make it up to me? What on earth is going on in that brain of yours? Then why now? I want you. Fang Fang. Yeah yeah, wait until we get in the room. I've waited for too long. I don't want to wait a second longer. Hold me tight. Yu Yu, this position doesn't seem too beginner friendly. I'm not a beginner, I've rehearsed this countless of times in my dreams. Trust me, Fang Fang, no matter where I go in this world. I'll always love you. Sheng Yu left. He intentionally let me sleep, and left quietly on his own. Sheng Yu, really didn't let up at all last night, huh? You just left, yeah yeah, but I'm missing you already. We'll have many more four years in the future, yeah yeah. I'll always remember that night like a fireworks show, after all the splendor. All that remains is the endless expanse of the lonely night sky. Five years later. By Fangshir, 28 years old. Boss, how do you want to celebrate your birthday this year? I'm alright with anything. Just keep it low-key. This tie. Yeah yeah, how are you doing over there? Oh right, I've lost the right to ask you this question, maybe this was how it was destined to be, eventually, Sheng Yu and I broke up again. Where are we going, boss? We're going to meet someone important for a little talk. I see. Oh right, there's something I meant to tell you. Hmm. Fu Sinyan was posting weird things on Weibo again last night, so I took away his account. 
Who's Fu Sinyan again? Mr. A, it's been, like, 800 years, and he still can't remember the agency's most popular artists. In the end, we resorted to assigning each of them a letter from A to E, in order of their popularity. Oh, it's that guy. I feel like Fu Sinyan's got a pretty memorable face. Don't you think he looks a little like Sheng? Uh... I mean, don't you think he looks really good? Damn, I almost blurted out Shang Yu's name. When he first debuted, the agency built up Fu Sinyan as someone with a Prince Syndrome kind of persona, taking notes from Shang Yu's popularity. But whether we're talking about looks, personality, or his actual personal background, Fu Sinyan will only ever be a discount version of Shang Yu. He's nothing like Shang Yu. Shang Yu is one of a kind. Even though we parted ways on a sour note. Four years ago. Why aren't you saying anything? Yeah yeah, I'm not going to fall for someone else. How many times do you need me tell you this? What more do you want me to say? So I'm just being unreasonable, then. Over the past four years, we kept fighting, giving each other the cold shoulder, and making up, it was an endless cycle of suffering. We were both exhausted. Turns out breakups aren't spur-of-the-moment decisions. They represent years and years worth of weariness and disappointment, all building up to an unavoidable breaking point. He threw a tantrum when I took away his account. He only stopped after I threatened to cancel all his shows next month. Why on earth is this brat so dumb? You debuted around the same age as him, yet you were never this inconsiderate. I grew up too fast. Besides, even if you didn't threaten him, he might not be able to do his show next month anyway. Huh? What do you mean? The production crew gave me a call. The sponsor doesn't like him. Why else do you think we're on our way to meet the sponsor now? What's going on? We were supposed to sign the contract for Superstar a while ago, but it kept getting postponed. Yesterday, the production crew let me in on the real reason why. The sponsor has a bone to pick with Fu Sinyan. I went to a lot of trouble to make an appointment with the boss today. We'll see how the discussions go later. I heard from the production crew that the boss is a local, even though the brand is American. He's really mysterious, too. How? Why is he here? Please, have a seat. Hello, Miss Lee. It's been a while, Shang. Mr. Shang. It's been four years. Shang Yu doesn't look that different, but the way he dresses and carries himself are all completely different now. More importantly, he actually greeted me. He's much more approachable than he used to be. Bai Fangshir's an old hand at this by now, too. I can't tell what he's thinking at all, damn. This isn't a business appointment anymore. This is a meeting between ex-lovers. Don't you have a meeting later? You can go on ahead. Don't worry about me. Right, right. I'll excuse myself and leave you to it, then. I'm finally free. So, when did you come back? Last Thursday. I've been looking for a place to settle down. Back then, the Xing family's properties and assets were all either seized or sold off. After wandering abroad for a few years, Xing Yu doesn't even have a home here to return to anymore. I thought I'd be getting a warmer reception here today. And yet, yet you're just as cold as ever. Didn't we part on good terms back then, Fang? I didn't expect you to return. I was quite surprised to see you here today. The way he calls me Fong now feels so different from when he used to call me Fong Fong. No need to be surprised. You're here today on behalf of that guy, right? Fu. Fu something. I didn't know he was signed to your agency. Well, I won't give him a hard time anymore. After all, we used to be, it's not like we're complete strangers, right? Thanks. It's been about five years. I expected him to change a little. But I can't believe he's become someone like this, he's so polite and well-mannered now. He doesn't throw tantrums anymore, and even knows how to take care of people, is this what it means to grow up? How much did he have to struggle to get here? Is he still the yeah yeah I used to know? I was doing well in America, but I always felt really homesick. But it wasn't like I still had anyone back home, 
so the only person I could think about, was you. But by then we'd already broken up, and it would have been rude of me to continue bothering you like that. So I told myself that I needed to move on. There was still so much I had to do. Slowly, I started getting used to it. Please don't give me that look. The reason why I'm saying all this now is because I want to tell you that. I've gotten over you. So relax. I won't be unreasonable and demanding anymore. Also, everything I told you about Fu Xinyan was a lie. I always knew he was signed to your agency. I set everything up today so I could get you in my debt. Why? You used to say that you hoped we could still be friends even if we broke up, I used to be so childish. I fought with you over this so hard that it always felt like the world was ending. I get it now. Staying friends is a pretty good compromise, too. Yeah, you're right. Where are you currently staying? A hotel? Yeah, it's not bad. He shouldn't be so resigned. Xing Yu deserves to be picky and demanding, like that fairy tale princess who slept on a pea. Since you don't have a place to settle down, would you like to come and stay with me for a few days? I live by myself and have plenty of empty rooms. But I rarely cook, so pee bear with me in terms of food. Are you sure that's okay? You're single, right? If your partner returns and sees you with your ex, I mean, won't it be really awkward? It's alright. No one ever comes by anyway. If you ever get sick of living in a hotel, you're welcome anytime. Alright. I used to be able to perfectly predict how Xing Yu would react. Now I can't figure him out at all. Turns out breaking up isn't even the final stage of a relationship. Staying friends after the breakup is the true point of no return. There's no room left for any yearning at all. Fang, why'd you get quiet all of a sudden? Is this invitation just you being polite? Of course not. It's been so long since you were last here. I should be looking out for you especially since you still don't have a place to really get your bearings yet. Thanks. I'll go get all my things from the hotel, then. Okay. I'll come with you. Oh, right. Hmm. <clears throat> it's your birthday next week, isn't it? Where's the dog? I don't see him. I even bring some clothes for him. I am quite busy at the moment so I let it stay at a friend's house. Oh. A friend. Oh right, last time you asked about my birthday, does it because, because you have to prepare a gift for me? Birthday gift for you. I have written a song for you. A song? I can't believe it. I'm curious, can I listen to it a little bit? Finally, I have something to expect on my birthday. You can't. Today is not your birthday. I'll go to bed, good night. Alright. A week later, birthday. Finally, they've gone. Happy birthday. Can I sing now? Of course. I've already been excited from the morning. Early morning. I want to wake Xing Yu up to sing now. Happy birthday. Thanks. His song isn't a love song not even single word to make people misunderstand. I'll drink with you. Thanks for your song even though I don't. If I say I don't like it, will you be mad? But, you still wrote a song for me, I'm very happy, this is better than last year. It's getting late, time to go to bed. Hmm. Is he pretending to? No. I think he gets drunk. What kind of perfume did you use today? Ha! Huh. This is the first time I smell it, where was the perfume last time I give you? Xing Yu is misunderstood. Xing Yu always asked me if I'm single or not, but I never ask him. Clearly, he's not single. These past few years, I always thought that we broke up because I wasn't brave enough. I've been absolutely mired in self-blame and regret, unable to move on and begin anew. Now I can see that Xing Yu's long since found someone new. He's changed, too. Turns out I'm the only one still living in the past. 
shouldn't I be happy for him? So why do I feel so upset? It's getting really late. You should go to bed. Where are you going? You're not allowed to leave. I want to sleep with you. Go sleep with whoever you want. Don't get drunk and mess with me like this. But I want to sleep with you. Resist. Take a good look at my face. Do you know who I am? Yup. He got this crazy last time too when I brought him to see my parents. He really shouldn't be drinking at all. Whatever, I'm going to sleep now. Stay here all night if you want. All that talk about staying friends. You just came back to torture me, didn't you? Looks like I'm in a bit of a dilemma. It's getting really late. You should go to bed. I regret everything. I can change my own clothes. Stay away from me. I like you so much. Can you give me a little kiss? So I can sleep better. Get a good sleep. When you're sober tomorrow, you should move out. Stop hanging around your ex. What kind of dream was that? Sheng Yu will eventually get married someday, and I'll be left with nothing at all. Fang, did I drink too much last night? How'd I end up in your bed? Of course he wouldn't admit to anything. Denial is a necessary skill for an alcoholic, after all. This is how they get away with everything unscathed. You mistook me for someone else last night. You wouldn't let me go at all, insisting you wanted to sleep with me, if you'd told me that you weren't single anymore in the first place, I wouldn't have invited you to stay here. To prevent this kind of thing from happening in the future, I feel like it's best if we keep our distance from each other. I'll help you find somewhere else to live. What do you think? What are you talking about? Did I mention something about having a boyfriend last night? Nope, just a guess. Why do you care, anyway? You don't like me, and I don't plan on being with you anymore. Does it even matter if I have a boyfriend now? Sure, we used to be together but we've got nothing to be ashamed of now. Why do we need to sneak around? He's sure being casual about this. Okay, okay, I shouldn't have drank so much last night. I won't do it again. Don't get mad, okay? Xing Yu's actually trying to apologize to me now. No, you're moving out as soon as we find you a place to stay. All right then. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. He's really changed a lot. I feel like I don't understand him anymore. Three days later. Boss. Shang Yu just posted something on Weibo, you're both trending. Shang Yu. Seven hours ago. It's been a while. This isn't the first time Shang Yu and I were caught in the eye of the storm. He knows for a fact that publishing that post would get the rumor mills going, yet he still chose to do so. Mr. Shang, I'm afraid there's more bad news. A marketing account on Weibo is trying to steal the limelight by comparing Fu Xinyan and Sheng Yu. Commercial account. Dreamboat vs. Substitute. The present vs. the ex. To make matters worse, Fu Xinyan published a long post expressing his love for someone. No name was mentioned in the post, but netizens are already imagining a complete love story between him and Sheng Yu in their mind's eye, will Sheng Yu blow his top? I'm worried that he may withdraw his support for Fu Xinyan's show as a consequence. He's well within his rights to withdraw. Suspend Fu Xinyan's account immediately and tell him to reflect on his actions. There's something else I need to attend to. I'll be going now. How do you like my cooking? I seem to recall this being your favorite dish. Thanks. I can't believe that he prepared all this based on my preferences. I've decided to withdraw Fu Xinyan from Superstar due to his troublemaking nature. I'm sure he'll make a scene if I let him take part in the reality show. You were right about him. I shouldn't have used him in the first place. What did I say that was right about him? We just don't get along. Why is that, though? Is it because the two of you are too much alike? Do you really think that we're alike? No, he's nothing like you. I wouldn't have even noticed how alike we were if no one brought it up. Fangshir, you've been single since forever. Haven't ever you thought of dating someone or getting married? Don't you get pressured by your parents to get married? 
No, they don't seem concerned about that. What's wrong with Xingyu? I understand that he's found a new lover, but why on earth is he poking his nose into his ex-lover's affairs? What about you? Don't you have any plans for marriage? No, I'm not interested. After all, I went through a miserable relationship in the past. I ought to be more careful in the next one lest history repeats itself. Are you done? I'll clear the table as soon as you're done with the meal. Sure. If my memories serve me right, I purchased a house for my parents. However, the house has been left vacant as they don't plan to move there just yet. Maybe I should let Xingyu stay there for the time being. That way, I can finally send the troublemaker off before he drags me through more of his mess. The troublemaker. 10 minutes later. Doing the dishes is tiring. I think I should volunteer to cook next time. That's my mobile phone. What the hell are you doing? I didn't mean to, you left your mobile phone there. I was intrigued to take a look. I didn't expect that, your passcode is 970,523, did I see it right? You didn't change the passcode even after switching to a new phone? Why are you still using my birth date as your passcode? Does that mean? It's just a force of habit. I didn't feel the need to change the passcode. Don't read too much into it. Don't think that you can get off that easily. Changing the passcode is a piece of cake, but you didn't do it because you still have feelings for me. Is that too wild of an assumption, Xingyu? Don't push it. You requested that we just be friends and I agreed. When you were drunk, you mistook me for someone else and kissed me. I forgave you and I let it slide. On top of that, I didn't even make a fuss when you got yourself a boyfriend. But look at you. What on earth are you up to? Are you trying to drive me into a corner so that I'll admit that I still have feelings for you? Would that make you happy? Does it give you a sense of superiority to know that your ex-boyfriend still can't get over you? Do you really loathe me that much? Xingyu, what do you want from me? Why don't you tell me? I don't have a boyfriend. I never did. It was just a joke, Fangshu. It was a joke. You think that's funny? Fangshu, please don't be mad at me. Sheng Yu, your words are always full of omissions and half-truths. I can't see through to your true colors. Stop toying with me. You may opt to go back to the States, or stay in this country. Either way, it's none of my business. Now, I'd like you to leave. I'll help you pack. Bedroom. Fangshu. What's this? Leave it. What's this? Fine. I'll move out right away. Thank you for the care and hospitality you've shown me. Goodbye. What exactly is inside that bottle? Why did Xing Yu respond that way? Xing Yu. Xing Yu. Wait up. What's wrong? What's that? Is that medicine? What's it to you? What medicine is that? Are you sick? That's right. It's infectious and transmissible through the air. You'd better stay away from me. What disease is it? You threw me out, so don't even bother acting all concerned now. What's it to you if I'm sick? It's none of your business. None of my business? Who else cares about you apart from me? My boyfriend cares. You just told me you didn't have a boyfriend. Sheng Yu, I'm really tired of arguing with you. We've fought entirely too many times before, if we had fought less, maybe we. Do you think I enjoy bickering with you? I was always the victim whenever we fought in the past. Do you know why I agreed to go overseas when my mom brought it up? Do you want to be a piece of useless trash that lives solely off of him, doing nothing but constantly dragging him down? This whole time, the only person who could make me change my mind, was you, and only you. Is it safe to assume that you're speaking from the bottom of your heart when you said you wanted to break up with me? That you're exhausted and you've had enough? No, I was sick and my mind wasn't in a great place. I was struggling with severe insomnia, depression, and anxiety. I consulted psychologists at first. Later, I resorted to seeing a psychiatrist. However, I didn't have the courage to tell you the truth. I didn't want you to worry and suffer along with me. 
My plan was to come back and reunite with you once I'd recovered. My only hope was that you wouldn't have forgotten me by the time I returned, however, things didn't go as planned. Unfortunately, I'm still undergoing treatment and taking antidepressants to this day. Sheng Yu. Please don't look at me like that. Do you think I'm pathetic? No, I just feel really sorry for you. You're the only person in the world who could make my heart ache, Xing Yu. Your heart aches for no one else but me? I always feel your pain, even when you don't show it. Watching you experience the slightest sorrow tears my heart into pieces. I've never felt more loved than I do right now. Xing Yu, let's go home. Home. Finish it. Not only does milk calm you down, but it also helps you sleep. How do you keep your depression at bay? Do you just take the antidepressants? Is there anything else you need to do? Did you rush out to get me just because you saw the pills? What if I told you that I wasn't diagnosed with depression? Would you have stayed away from me? That's a crucial question. I must make sure to give a perfect answer. By Fangshir, I want to be with you, but I don't want to date you. Even if we get back together, it's just a matter of time before we break up again. I know us too well. No, you don't know me at all. I know you better than anyone else. Love is just one tiny part of your life. If I stay, you'll just tolerate me for the rest of your life. However, should I decide to leave you, you won't be affected by my absence at all. I guess I took the words out of your mouth. Are you offended? I bet you're starting to find me more and more obnoxious with each passing day. I suck at cheering you up. All I ever do is annoy you. You. Shen Yu. That's my answer. You can cry on my shoulder if you want. I'm sorry for being so nosy. You're being unusually polite to me, as if I'm a stranger. I plan to return to the States once I'm done dealing with the matters at hand. You're returning to the States? Yes. You're definitely not the reason I got depression. It was just an unfortunate coincidence, with everything piling up all at once. You don't have to feel bad about it. The old me never knew how to be grateful. Now, I've learned to see things in a positive way. It's absolutely a cause for celebration that I still get to see you after four years. I'll get my assistant to come and pick me up. Xing Yu, please hear me out. You can decide if you still want to leave once I'm done. Sure. Do you still remember what you said to me when we first got together? We had our first kiss that day, and then I told you I wasn't sure if I was in love with you. Do you still remember what you said in reply? Of course you're in love with me. No one can resist me. Sheng Yu, 20 years old. Back then, we barely knew each other, yet you were so confident that I was in love with you. Right now, I love you more than I did back then. Why have you lost faith in me? Erm. When we were together, we shared more happy moments than we did sad ones. However, for the past few years, without you by my side, nothing could make me feel real joy. My assistant is downstairs. Are you sure you want to leave? Don't go. You've been deeply in love with me all these years. Are you sure you want to put an end to it now? Since you gave your heart to me, you're mine, and you'll always be mine. Please stay by my side, Xing Yu. Be a good boy, Xing Yu. Open the door. By Fangshu, don't you have the key with you? Xing Yu, I brought our son home. Aren't you happy to see him? Humph. You should have brought him home a long time ago. Look, it's not impossible to keep someone by your side. Especially when that person secretly wants to stay. Xing Yu was just waiting for me to take the initiative to persuade him to stay. Xing Yu, why don't we get a cat? That way, we'll have the best of both worlds. It sounds doable. There's an animal shelter not far from here. We can adopt a cat from there. Sure. Gosh, isn't that by Fangshu and Xin Yu? That's right. It's them. They look really close. It's like they're a couple. Ah, I'm a huge fan of Sheng Yu. I'm going to ask for an autograph.
Eh? Shen Yu is here. Look, the man standing beside him is by Fang Shi. Are my eyes deceiving me? Didn't expect that the couple that I shipped before is back together. Run. We escaped, but I lost my ice cream. What are you looking at? Do you want to have a bite? No. If you want a bite, just say it. I can share. Ha! Huh. He ate the ice cream up. There's nothing left for me. The ice cream tasted exceptionally sweet when it came from Xing Yu's mouth. My heart melted. It was abandoned before. Chances are it may keep its guard up against human beings. Hmm. That's all right. We'll take things slow. What a silly dog. Xing Yu, have you taken your meds? Yeah, what's up? Then tell me, why did I find this pill in the trash? There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Let's get married. We'll get married as soon as you've recovered. What say you? What did you say? Listen. You need to get serious about your recovery. We'll get married as soon as you're better. Will you marry me, Xing Yu? I should have done that a long time ago. Things could have been different if Xing Yu and I were bound by wedding bands when we were in an intercontinental long-distance relationship. Why do we need to wait until I'm better before we tie the knot? What if I never recover? Are you saying that you don't want to be with me if I never recover? Who on earth proposes with a condition like that? How insincere. I can't believe he could find fault in me when I proposed to him. Gosh, he really is a challenge. I'm not being insincere. I just want to motivate you a little. Take your meds on time and recover soon. That way, we can get married earlier than planned. When the time comes, we can show off our wedding rings. So, this is just a trick to coax me into taking my meds. You don't mean to marry me. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't have proposed in the first place if I didn't mean to marry you. You're just trying to find fault in everything, gosh. Eh. Uh. Provokes. Like it or not, you'll take your meds and marry me. It's decided. I have the final say. Take your meds and go to bed. Your mom will be released from prison tomorrow. We're picking her up. Xing Yu, don't be nervous. I'll be there to keep you company. Xing Yu, you should go. It's been a while. How are you, mom? I'm fine. Everything is settled. Don't worry. All in all, things didn't go too badly for me. Hello, Mrs. Sheng. You've been together this whole time? Yes. No. Hmm. I'm glad that you're being so honest. Any future plans? Mom, Fangshir, and I have decided to get married soon. I don't care what kind of spell you've cast on my son to make him fall head over heels for you. Since he's chosen you, you'll spend the rest of your life together. Don't worry, Mrs. Sheng. I do everything he says all the time. Mom, what about your future plans? I want to move back to our old home. I've gone through more than enough in life. Now, I would rather live alone in peace. Two weeks later. Sheng Yu, it's time to take your medicine. Hey, it's time to take your medicine. Baby, stop pretending you can't hear me. Got it. Sheng Yu needs to take all sorts of meds. Worse, the dosing instructions aren't exactly easy to understand. It's quite a hassle. I need to figure out a way to make sure Xing Yu takes his medicine. For instance, I can reward him with a kiss whenever he takes a pill. I'm pretty amazed by my ingenuity. I'm such a genius. What are you doing? Why did you throw it away? Did you leave the medicine in the living room on purpose last time? Do you really hate taking medicine that much? Do you throw the pills away every day? Xing Yu, what on earth are you thinking? I promised to marry him as soon as he's better. Isn't that enough to persuade him? 
Why did you throw the pills away? Explain it to me. Don't hold things back from me. Really, why? Fine. Since you refuse to say a word, I'm just going to go. Where are you going? Somewhere away from you. Please don't leave. I didn't do it on purpose. I'm sorry. Can't you be normal for once? Sheng Yu. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? We haven't been intimate for a couple of days now. I've been waiting for you to make the first move. Wow. So he's mastered the art of changing the subject to get himself off the hook. Ah, knock it off and just explain things to me. Did you even miss me all these years, Fang Fang? I did. Fang Fang, I'll be gentle. I promise. Sheng Yu broke his end of the deal and didn't take his meds. Yet, I'm the one suffering the consequences. What have I done in the past to deserve this? Sheng Yu, are you not going to tell me the truth? Do you really think that this absolves you of your actions? Do you think this is a game? Do you really want to hear me out? Of course. I don't want to take the medicine. I don't want to be cured. Why not? Because. When I'm sick, you shower me with love. I've never felt confident enough to keep you by my side. It's true that I don't want your sympathy, but if sympathy and pity can bind you to me forever, I'm more than happy to make the most out of that. When I'm with you, I have no desire to end my life. I'm doing fine even without medicine. I'm so content with how we are. Xing Yu, do you hear yourself? You're talking nonsense. You said that you're content with life. What about me? Do you think your health only matters to you? For goodness sake, what did I do to you in my last life to deserve this? Why must you torture me to no end? You've never taken my love for you to heart, not even once. Things just didn't work out no matter how hard I tried. It seems that you made it your mission to deny me every time. That wasn't my intention. I'm sorry. I must admit that I never did take Bai Fangshir's feelings into consideration. In order to bind him to me forever, I deliberately chose to remain ill forever for my own gain. I never stopped to think that he'd have his heart in his mouth for the rest of his life, worrying about me. I was too selfish. I'm truly sorry. Now I see how wrong I was. I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. I'll stick to the treatment regimen from now on. I won't repeat my mistake. I promise. I'm really really sorry. Starting tomorrow, I'll take my meds on time. I won't miss out a single dose. I swear. It seems that Fang Fang is mad at me. However, to see things from a different perspective, Fang Fang blew his top and burst into tears because he is madly in love with me, and only me. Despite my selfishness, Fang Fang still loves me feeling someone else's pain and worrying about them is heartbreaking, but to be the object of that pain and worry is the sweetest thing life could offer. Just based on that alone, no hardship will be too tough for me to endure. Not only is the pill hard to swallow, but it also makes me drowsy. The after effects of the pill are too strong for me to handle. Yawns. Fang Fang could use some time to calm down. I might as well take a nap first and write him an apology letter when I wake up. I don't think he can bear to ignore me forever. Sheng Yu. I'm not asleep. I'm just resting my eyes. Sign here. What is this? It's a binding agreement. This is a schedule that sets out your daily routine, exercise regimen, meal plan, and social activities. After signing the agreement, you must strictly abide by the schedule. Should there be any changes, you must follow my instructions. It goes without saying that you have to take a break from work for a while. The doctor suggested that you stop working for the time being. I don't plan to let you return to the States before you're better anyway. Well, do you agree? Can I say no? No, you can't. You don't have a choice. Sign it now. Fine. There, I've signed it. So what if I signed the agreement? 
I'm not an elementary school student. It's not like I'll take the schedule seriously anyway. Sheng Yu, don't think that I don't know what you're thinking right now. I can assure you that the agreement isn't just a worthless piece of paper. Just wait and see. A few days later. Eat up. Don't be so picky. It's already 11 o'clock. Shut your eyes and go to sleep. He's no longer a sweetie. Fang Fang has turned into a demon. Sheng Yu. I need to tell you something. Pray tell, Mr. Bai. I'm leaving on a business trip to the filming site tomorrow. I may be gone a while. Go ahead. You've nothing to worry about. I can take care of myself. Yes. I smell freedom. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I may not be around but I'll call you at specific hours to make sure you're taking your medicine on time, as well as checking in on your meals and sleep schedule. I'll send my assistant to check on you as well. Sure, what a wicked man. Three days later. Hello. Xing Yu, guess who I bumped into today? Who? I ran into director Zhao. He's directing a film on the site. We had lunch together and we talked about old times. He asked me to send his regards to you. What did you talk about? Did he mention the movie? What else did he say? Even though my family compensated for the losses when the Calming the Storms production was put on hold indefinitely, and technically speaking, Director Zhao was not affected much financially, the time and effort sacrificed by the crew nevertheless went up in vain all because of me. He's keen to resume filming. The scenes that we filmed prior to the suspension are still in his possession. We just have to film some additional scenes. He wants to know if we're still interested to take part in the filming. Are you keen, Xing Yu? I've retired from the industry a long time ago. What's more, I was just never cut out for acting. Your acting was not as awful as you imagined it to be. Besides, I am here to guide you now. I'll let you have the final say. You're always the leader anyway. I'll take part in the filming if you're in it. On top of that, you can have my share of the remuneration. Do you have any idea why I agreed to continue filming? No, why? It's the only movie we ever collaborated on, and we patched things up thanks to the movie. Now, it's going to be the last movie of my acting career. That way, I can say that I finished what I started. Then, when we're old and gray, we can reminisce on the good old days by watching the movie. Isn't that romantic? Yeah yeah, get well soon. There are so many things on my bucket list that I want to do with you and I can't wait to tick them off. Two weeks later. Didn't he promise that he'll be home by 5 o'clock? It's already 6 and he's still nowhere to be seen. Sheng Yu. Why are you waiting out here in the cold? You're late. What held you back? Something unexpectedly happened and I had to take a detour, so it took me longer than usual. Was it important? He knew that I was waiting for him. Yet, he took his own sweet time to come home. I got you some flowers. I've never bought you flowers before, have I? This is the first time. I also got you a present. What is it? Roses symbolize first love. What is this? Xing Yu, we've known each other for eight years. However, we spent way more time being apart than together. I don't want to waste any more time, not even a minute. We have to strike while the iron is hot. We wasted too much time running circles around each other. Luckily, we're back on track now. I couldn't be more grateful that after giving me the run around for so many years, my beloved prince is still waiting for me at the same spot. I love you. Please marry me. Sure, let's get married. I hereby declare that Sheng Yu may kiss his spouse. May you both live happily ever after from now on.